it's as not usual. mine at all. I had to get a new cape. We are live. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Xbox getting a cape. I, had, I have my cape of optimacy on. What? My cape of optimacy. You don't know? See, that's because you need to play Destiny. Good grief. I had a <laughs> I had the YouTube playing in the background and I'm like, ah, oh, my voice. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> now you know how everybody in the chat feels. I am so sorry, you guys, <laughs> that you have to listen to me on a Wednesday morning. I hope you've had enough coffee. Um yeah, so happy Wednesday. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Um who was um, here first? Noble Addiction was for first in the chat. <laughs> He said, good morning, everyone. Also, first. <laughs> uh, so welcome. Uh, good morning, Dirty J. He said, Yoshida sucks. Um, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, snap. He said, no, I don't. <laughs> what is up, UK Dazarus, moderator of the year? <laughs> Addiction, stinking corpse. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, Neo Mental. Um, I almost said good morning to Mr. Mr. Boomstick, I always do that shit. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna give it a minute uh, before we get started. Let people trickle in, and let me get myself situated so uh, you hey, guys she can. She said both... trickle. She said trickle. <laughs> Hold on, where's my controller? Go, I gotta go get more coffee real quick, you guys. I hope you don't mind, but Xbox made us late and now making us later. So I'll be right back. I, I didn't even know. I didn't even know it was ten thirty. I'm sorry, guys. Um, that's because you weren't paying attention because he was in Destiny, and that's all he cares ridiculous about. Ridiculous Destiny I'm, addiction. I mean, I'm still, I'm, I'm still in Destiny right now, guys. I he believe it. Some Destiny Two anonymous stuff and things. Someone oh, created a new, a new name for that, like a Destiny addiction stuff. I'll be right back. Well, see, here, here's the thing, though. It, when I like a game, I, I commit myself to the game. No, Halo no, no, Five. That. No, Halo no, Five. That. I have over three months, like actually in the game, playing the game. Over wow. three months logged in, right? So, um, I mean, that's what happens. Uh, uh, you know, a game or two, uh, this game and Forza, I've actually um, caught up on, on um, game time with Forza. I have, like, over three days and, like, seven hours or something like that. But I'm, I'm building up time on that. I finally, I finally beat the career. Um, and it was freaking awesome because as soon as you get you – get, uh, the 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 final cup series yo more more of it expands and opens up and they're like um they have special limited edition um uh forza edition cars oh, for when you yeah coffee. when you complete each cup again like and you have to complete like all the races but not only that i don't think a lot of people notice there there's different showcase races in those series as well which are automatically open and when you when you beat a showcase race, you get the car that you were racing in. Oh, that's good. That's dope. So right, there's a um, there's a Lamb hold on, hold on. There's a Lamborghini Venino showcase race after you beat after you beat it. So once you beat that race, you get the Lamborghini Venino. They have race. like oh my goodness, they have such hot cars. Like after after the fact that you just go in and do what they gotta do what you gotta do. They have the Porsche 919. Oh <laughs> I'm in love. I'm in love. Oh man. He only talks like that about that game. <laughs> All right, so uh, good morning, Crab Gamer. He said, it's the Xbox 46576. I can't read all those numbers. It's too early. <laughs> What's up, Joker Quinn? Uh, good morning, Graphic God. So we're late again uh, because okay. Xbox. Good morning, Skull Stomper. You play with me all the time. I don't like it. And then I, <clears throat> I'm choking on my coffee. So I got more coffee, right? And then I brought it back to my desk, and then I spilled it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Because I was telling Boomstick, uh, we got Cafe Bustello, so I added that whole bag to the coffee, and I can't stop shaking. I was up all night. So, yeah. yeah that, that's I, bad. That's, I that's... tried to sleep, and I couldn't. It was terrifying. I was just Bustello like, punches you in the eye. That's what it does. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what, what I've been drinking uh, today, and that's what xbot has been drinking. So, uh, good luck, everybody, in the chat. This is going to go really ADD south. All right, so uh, we have let's let's say our good mornings. We have uh, the Xbot four five six seven eight. Would you like to say good morning? No. Well, then <laughs> screw you. What, what's going on, everybody? 
uh, I am in the middle of of making my my hunter look very pimp ish right now. Um, huge shout out to everybody checking this out live. Yo, go ahead, hit that thumbs up button, share the sucker out here. Let's see, we we got to get like um, I don't know, like sixty five people watching today. That's what that's what I think. I say but go for a hundred. I was gonna say you are lowballing it. Let's see a hundred people. Two hundred. You know what? Mel, stop. All right, and then we have. Creating Beyond Limits, CBL, would you like to say good morning? Good morning, everyone. Uh, good interesting morning, topics, God. as always, and I'm really interested to hear what everyone's going to, like, what everyone's going to say about everything, and I'm just happy to be here. Yay! He doesn't care Yay. about what I say. He doesn't care. No, no, he doesn't. Nobody does. All right. oh. <laughs> and then we have Supersonic Station. Would you like to say good morning? Hi ho, everyone! That's gonna be a wonderful day. It's gonna be cloudy with a chance of loot boxes raining from the ground. <laughs> wow, you sound like the difficulty of Super Lucky's Tale right there. Like that was the interpretation of the Shot difficulty fired. Of, don't say, of Super don't, Lucky's Tale. Don't say that to Boomstick. Listen, <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it crazy that game wasn't nominated for Game of the Year? <laughs> it, just got, it just got all serious up in here. Well, uh, no, according you, according to Twitter, you. there's quite a people that feel like that game should be game of the year. No, I mean, <laughs> let's not get ridiculous, but the game is worth your time for sure. Well, you know what? We'll find out later. <laughs> I want. I want. I haven't played it, guys. But I, what I what I've I, I have my own opinions by no. what I've seen. So, all right, guys. Nobody wants to game gift it for. I have an issue. My mic and my computer keeps stopping. Um, Mr. Boomstick, we didn't get you for intros, right? No, but that's perfectly oh. fine. They know who they're, they're listening to. Listening Holy to God. the smooth sounds of Xbox 448. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. My computer keeps, like, stopping. And then while I'm talking, I don't know what to do right now. So, Mr. Boomstick, say your good mornings. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Thanks so much for showing up today. We greatly appreciate the support. Please hit that like button. And let's try and get 100 people to, to give the thumbs up today. Yeah. Um, and then you have me. <laughs> I'm the host. Oh, snap, it's Mel. Um, yeah, if I, if I fall out of the chat, you guys, I will be back. But I keep getting, like, this freezing pause for, like, three seconds, and that's not okay. Not okay. Hashtag not okay. Mm. Hashtag not okay. Um, so we do have some announcements to make. So uh, first things first. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <Those> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So I think last week you weren't pregnant and this week you are. What is going on? You uh, need to make up your mind. Phil Spencer. Hey, what? Donald Trump's baby. Phil Spencer knocked him up. He gets a free month of Game Pass. I got, I got Xbox Love <laughs> Child bun in the oven. <laughs> you guys have issues. All right, so for <laughs> announcements, um, Mr. Boomstick XL has uh, generously donated two of the one-month Game Pass codes uh, to give away. So we're going to have two different winners for that uh, throughout the show. And then we have um, Mr. Boomstick actually has an announcement. Yes, uh, I'm going to be putting up my first uh, video review uh, by the end of the week. It's going to be Super Lucky's Tale. Not a surprise because I've asked what we love the game. Uh, and just real quick with the codes, for some reason, uh, Microsoft kind of uh, botched this part of, of giving them away because when you try to redeem your code, it tells you you need to be a new member. Now you can two things you can do. One, you could unsubscribe from Game Pass and then use it. Or two, you can call customer service and they'll give you the correct code. I don't know why this issue is happening, but um, those those are the two ways that you can actually use the code, and there'll be no issue once uh, you you know you go either of the routes. Dear Microsoft, we love you. Xbox, we love you, but you guys are fucking up. So get <laughs> yes. your act together. Um, but yeah, you guys can definitely just, uh, if you do currently have it, then you can just let it expire and use your code. And yes. then if yep. you don't have it, well, even better because you got a free month coming. So, um, you know, make sure you guys uh, get in on this contest. And you know what? If, if uh, you want, you know, and you win it, you can always gift it to somebody in your family. You know, if they don't have Game Pass, it'll be great for the kids for yeah. the holidays. 
Yes, absolutely. I mean, listen, it's a, it's a, it's a month, but it's a month of 100 games that you may <laughs> or may not have played. I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like, I haven't even looked into Game Pass really at all other than we talk about it on here. And then Xbox decided he was going to not cancel the subscription. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so guess what Mel did? Mel was downloading a few games so she could play on her donation stream. So I was Damn like, it, Mel. you know what? Hush your face. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I did download some games to play on the donation stream. And I was like, wow, they got this game. They got that game. So actually, after looking into the Game Pass, because I really wasn't interested in it. I'm not really, you know, like I thought it was a good idea for people who don't have games. I have a ton of games. But then there's games on there that I don't have or no longer have. So Yep. I did download some games. I'm really excited to play it. So, guys, if you want to get in on that, we'll have details later for those uh, one-month Game Pass code giveaways. What's, um, the, what's the charity stream? What? You said, <laughs> you said charity stream. What, what What are you talking about? Oh, oh, everybody knows what I'm talking about, right, everybody? Excuse <laughs> me, miss. Hold on. I'm going to whisper to her, okay? That's called a segue, okay? Okay. Good to know. <laughs> so yeah um i am currently <laughs> running a um i'm not ready xbox i'm currently uh running a contest for a 50 dollars xbox um gift card giveaway that ends christmas eve i am linking it in the chat again it is linked in the description so it, all you guys gotta do it actually has me and xbox on there is subscribe to the channel tweet it on twitter it's a gleam contest it's legit don't worry. I know a lot of people are worried about contests being legit. I got you guys. That's have made this year absolutely incredible. So I'm really excited for that. And I'm also excited for it. up this Saturday at 3 p.m. Uh, I got to make sure my computer's good and doesn't freeze up and stuff like that, though. I'm a little worried right now. But uh, it's going to be so much fun. And we do have – I have a few um, – well, I have like a lot of little things that I'm going to be giving away uh, throughout the stream, little raffles and such. But we do have something pretty epic coming. Um, I give any details, um, but it is donated from someone who's really, really awesome within our community. So we, I'm really excited. We just got to make sure it's real. Is what's going on right now? Okay. Like <laughs> no, it, it's it's real. It's just I, just I gotta. I want to tell them. Oh. No, no, because no, you don't know it until until we have everything set. <laughs> all right, we we can't we can't. Yeah, no, no, we can't do that. Yeah, don't let the cat out of the bag. You don't want right. to jinx it. Yeah, well, Who put the cat in the bag, by the way, because that I is did. super talented. Right I there. did. The cats put like them apple. in the bag. They love being in bags and boxes. <laughs> <stuff. laughs> okay. Okay. Can I at least tell them who it's from? No. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Boom. <laughs> I'm just saying that you know what the, that's karma, and we don't want to mess it up. You're gonna have something good for the people. I say when you have it in hand, because that's happened to me, then you make your announcement. Yo, huge, right. huge shout out to Neil Mental by the way, because when I said I'm pregnant, I think he was the only person in there that said congratulations. <laughs> that would be Mr. Boomstick's brother, who is an amazing human being. Yeah, yeah we need to get him on the show sometime. That'd be cool. Well, um, Neil Mental is now the Godfather. Of, ah, of very movies. nice. Yes. Anyways, nice. anyways, guys, I'm sorry to cut you off, but I just need to finish my thought. Otherwise, it's done. Like there will be no more thought. But you guys really do uh, need to stay tuned for my channel if you do want to find out who this super special person is who is donating this super epic gift. That's all I'm gonna say. Not to tell you guys anything else. Um. Yeah. So, anyways. I think that's it for our announcements. Does anybody have anything else they want to add that they didn't tell me about? Because that would be cool. Um, no? I, I am looking for two people for Nightfall. <laughs> All right. I need. Thought, you're going to get kicked out of this right I need now. two people for a Destiny 2 Nightfall after the show. All right, guys. I'll mute him. <laughs> All you're <right>. fired. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You, you need help. We need to send him to somewhere far away. Hey, wait. He actually finished the raid this week. Good job. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. I don't care. Well, yeah. yo, I gotta give a, I gotta give a huge, a huge a bit. I have to. I have to agree. Good game, you know, but it's kind of been a little long in the tooth. It's time to move on to something. I gotta else. give a huge, huge shout out to my 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 boys, the Iron Lord Podcast, because um, mm -hmm. yo, Cognito, uh, Room to Kill, also known as Gaming Addict, all of them. We all came together. 
uh, and got the raid done. I got my gear, all that good stuff, the official emblem. So, yeah, and I just got to do it again and over and over and over again. So, and I got to do a prestige as well. So, a prestige. Yeah, which is harder, harder than normal. You get like hologram armor. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with what you guys have been playing this week and everybody's going to get to talk about it except for Xbox 448. Mm -hmm. So we're going to oh, start. Wait, I, do, I do have one announcement um, starting next it's week at 7 a.m. Central. <laughs> <laughs> on Wednesday, 7 a.m. Central time, I'm going to start doing a Project Spark uh, kind of like stream news thing with Lady Lex UK over there from Europe. Awesome. What time was that? uh 8 a.m 8 a.m central so it'll be like us making games and doing contests and um lots of game jams and stuff like that very cool and that's gonna be before the show on Wednesday. yes right? before the show yep. All right. yep yep so stay tuned for that and he said giveaways so everybody wants to get involved dun, mm -hmm. dun, dun. all right so supersonic station what have you played this week uh lot, lots of old nintendo games actually i've been playing all kinds of stuff testing out all these games on xbox one x with all the 4k greatness and um i think after the stream i'm gonna stream some old sega games so just tons of lots of games i can't even name them all lots of gaming lots of streaming mm -hmm. i even played sims 4 last night and they have like oh, i saw that <laughs> um, i'm so jelly they got like Boba Fett and Princess Leia and stuff on there. It's crazy. It's I'm crazy. so mad. I was I saw that you were playing. And I was like, well, you. I'm on Call of Duty, but I really want to play that. If so. you got EA Access, there's a free trial. Oh okay. yeah. Also, well, also check know. your uh, your yeah. inbox. Uh, I saw on Twitter some people actually got uh, got it for free. Got what for free? I almost the, choked on my coffee, boom. Yeah, The Sims 4. Uh, I, I read on Twitter a couple days ago that there were some people like, yeah, <clears throat> I checked my, my inbox on Xbox Live, and it says, here's the code for The Sims 4. I'm so jelly. I didn't I get one. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's something that was done by accident or, you know, it was like, uh, you know, uh, EA felt generous because, you know, they were having problems. I, I couldn't tell you. If anybody, if anybody at all wants to game gift me that, I will love you guys forever. That is <laughs> one game. That, I, you know what? The thing is, like, I'm so obsessed with COD right now. Really don't want any other. Yeah, games. she is really obsessed with COD. It's crazy. You know, you know what, Boomstick? I don't even want to talk to you anymore because I had a like harass <laughs> and play, and you still have yet to she play. She called me a fraud last night. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I sure did. I'm like, all right, so you just respond to everybody else, but you don't respond to me. And I was like, and you, you just never have time to play with me. All right, you're a fraud. So <laughs> he does not game Ooh, you guys. Terrible. He doesn't terrible. game. But let's hear what you've been playing, Boomstick. Well, obviously, I played the, the hell out of Super Lucky's Tale, which, you know, reg listen, here's the thing. It's not going to win <laughs> Game of the Year. It's, it's not going to, you know, you're not going to compare it to Mario. But you know what? It people is do. People do, though. I'm like, yo, what are you doing? Overhyping over a game can kill it just as much as underhyping no, it. No, I don't, I don't think I'm overhyping it. I, I, I think the problem is, is that no, it's, it, it's been, dis, it, it's, you know, it's been dis not only by the media, but I don't think there are a lot of people that are, you know, are interested in the game simply because, oh, it's a kid's game. You know, it, 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 you know, it some looks people, like a kid's game. It, it, yeah. You know, it, it is technically a kid's game, but you also got to remember, I'm a little older than most of the people on the panel, and I grew up with platformers. And I will play a Mario. I will play a Sonic. I will play – I've even played Knack 1, which turned out to be terrible, but I played it nonetheless. And I, I I really put a lot of work into Super Lucky's Tale. I enjoyed it. I'm doing a video review. Uh, I'm going to post that at the end of the week. Uh, I just finished the Star Wars Battlefront 2 campaign, which was amazing. No spoilers. Uh, it's the only spoilers. the only problem. Yeah, the only problem that I have with it is that it, it's if it would have just been two or three hours longer, it would have been an amazing. It, it just would have been fantastic. It just it I felt like it was it was too short. You know what? I wouldn't know because you were supposed to be playing COD and I'm not playing that game. Which, believe all. it or not, I have Call of Duty. I purchased it, I don't know, maybe yeah, five months ago and I haven't even turned it on. But I also played Assassin's Creed on the X, which looks absolutely stunning. 
Well, you know, Call of Duty does have an enhancement. Yes, so they totally do. Play. Yes, I, I have to get on that. Yeah, as soon as you play, I'm gonna be like, I don't want to play anymore. I'm done. I think Titanfall Two got a new enhancement. Too. Yeah, they, they got they got a little, they got an, an upgrade, and as a matter of fact, Digital Foundry I think is uh, is doing their uh, their second review on the update today. I think it launches today. Look, it looks amazing now. Uh, I seen the video that they put up today. Oh, you, okay, yeah. great. Okay, it is up. Okay, awesome. Yeah, the patch that they brought out for Titanfall was just addressing some of the issues that the last one had. Like the frame rate is a lock solid sixty now, and the resolution has been boosted a little bit. Now, hey, listen, if you haven't played Titanfall, uh, the game is fantastic, both the single player Titanfall campaign too. and uh, multiplayer. I bought it, and then I had never played it. Yeah, right. I'm, look, I'm looking at it now. It looks freaking awesome now. So check it out, <laughs> definitely. Creating Beyond Limits. What have you played this week? Well, you probably already know the one game that I'm going to say. Um, Titanfall? <laughs> Fortnite. No. Yeah, Fortnite. I think I've been saying that every I was going to say now. Super Lucky's Tale. No, I won't <laughs> buy that. Uh, have you been playing <laughs> Fortnite or the Fortnite Battle Royale? Uh, Fortnite, I still don't. I never bought the actual, like, other version of the game. The I just played. The, yeah, the real version. Awesome. I played the one that they gave out for free. That's the better version. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> so, yeah, I played a good bit of uh, Fortnite Battle Royale uh, last, just after the show last week or probably day or something after it. Uh, it we're me, Supersonic, and Noble were doing some co streaming. And stuff. It was awesome. Uh, I highly recommend everyone to avoid Supersonic Station and never play any sort of game with him. <laughs> I'm asshole. so good though. <laughs> I carry my teams and like. Yo, see, see, CBL. I got to agree with you, man. I think it was like, last week or so. Like he, he, he went in on a nightfall with me, man. Him and Luca, right? No lie. First. First going, first time going through the nightfall. He's already like, man, yeah, we're not gonna pass this. Like he, he like he was already ready to give up. That negative oh type goodness. of attitude is not gonna help you. Oh. Have great words of encouragement. <laughs> like we're not okay. gonna do this. Let's is go team. Player? We're all gonna die. <laughs> am we'll am I a team with player? You guys? Well, no. CBL, you answer that. Am I a team player? <laughs> Uh, no, he is not a team player. He basically, yes, I heard. He basically, uh, I was fighting for my life. I killed someone. I survived, and then he just came in and finished me off, even though we're with each other. He just came in, shotgun me, and I'm there screaming like, "Stop!" And then it's, only, it's only after he kills me, he's like, "Oh, it was you." <laughs> I panic, man. I can you get some YouTube, right? Yeah, I have the video of the Forge to like prove it because he was all like, I didn't do it, like trying to be like, I was carrying the team. You killed me more than once, too. Wow. <laughs> what an MF. My safety was off. See, it, became an engine. it just went off. <laughs> I couldn't help it. But I, I accidentally on games. purpose shot you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, basically. He didn't, I don't even think he apologized. So Noble Addiction in the chat can vouch for me. I'm the best Fortnite player ever. I used to hate he that said, game, but that but that game mode is... You. He said he had to kill you after you took out Dean, man. He did. He just, yeah. yeah. And then Noble had to kill himself because he felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> we were waiting. Uh, all right. uh, but I played... Uh, What's well, a Star Wars Battlefront two? I played a few hours of the trial. I played a good few, like a good few multiplayer matches, a few of the different modes. Open a few loot like, boxes, you know. I actually didn't even open the free ones. Oh. I was like, "Fuck that shit! I'm not touching it." <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, but overall, the gameplay is there. Like it's a, it's improved over the Force one. The game is fun, but like, why do they have to have the whole? loot box system attached to the like progression and getting weapons and stuff like that it's kind of bullshit so i'm not going to get the game i'm just going to wait like six seven months until it gets added to the vault uh, so i just that's, get that's free. smart i mean again that's that, that's how you teach these companies a lesson i mean listen i bought the game as a matter of fact it's funny i was telling mel last night um mooch had asked me did i get the deluxe edition now when i pre-ordered this about i don't know four or five months ago um, I, I I thought I bought the deluxe edition, which I usually do, and uh, supposedly you get to play the game three days early, which is 
total BS because the games technically should have been out on Tuesday like they usually launch games, but whatever. I go to check uh, on Xbox. I turn on my system, and it, for the regular edition, it says play. When I go to the uh, deluxe edition to see if I have it purchased, it's telling me to, re to buy it. So I was like, oh, maybe I didn't buy the deluxe edition. I go, I go to Xbox Live on my computer. I look up the receipt, and sure enough, it says that I, I purchased the deluxe edition. So I'm not sure if this is some sort of a glitch with the X. But it's some no, of I've had issues like that on my own store whenever okay. I look at certain games. Like if I bought the ultimate version of, like, say, Halo Wars or something like that, like whenever I look at a game at the store, like it still has the full price and say buy it again. But then the normal version says I own it, even though I know it. Like if I click on manage game, like I have the other version, like with, like with the other stuff or whatever. It's just a weird store glitch that they've had for a while now and they never fixed it. Yeah, you know what, though? Why I think it's a little bit more nefarious than that is simply because when I go to check what extras I have, it does not they don't come up in, in managed games. So I don't know what the deal is with that. But, you know, if just keep, like, you know, keep a record of what you bought because you don't want to be that guy that be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to rebuy this game. And didn't I buy it already? And good luck in getting your money back. Yeah. Well, at least you had the receipt then, Foucault. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, but I have one more game that I played that I just want to quickly say. You? Sure. I played The Sims 4 <laughs> on the uh, Xbox. And Are you I... lying? No, I have a EA Access. It's a free trial, 10 hours. Damn it, we don't have EA Access anymore. I did no, a video so on that. Go check out my it. channel, FYI. Somebody, <laughs> somebody, stopped, somebody stopped EA Access over here. I, I don't know who would do such a thing. I, I had to order another Xbox One S just for that game for uh, my girlfriend's kid. She's a teenager. Well, the game is shit on consoles, just to say. <laughs> well, really? I have I have it on the PC, so uh, basically, like, they didn't really change too much to make a play with a controller. Like, you're still moving the crew, like, the arrow, the crew, like, wherever it's called, the arrow around, like, just with a controller stick with the analog. So you're still playing, like, you're, like, playing mouse and keyboard, but you're not using a mouse and keyboard. So it is, like, slower and more awkward to use the arrow, like, moving it with the analog, especially if yeah. you're building stuff. Like, I I, it's, all, it's all right to play when you're just playing the characters moving around and doing all that stuff. But I tried building a house and stuff, and the building... Is a lot more like complex and just the way it's all done to the controller. It's just not as good. That doesn't sound good. Now I don't want it anymore. I'm done. It, get the. I was gonna say you don't have VX. I was gonna say get the trial. Hey, I, Xbox is gonna have mouse and keyboard su support. So I wonder if there might be an option. That, to that's probably it. why. That's probably why they didn't change it. I say if you never played on the PC or if you haven't played it in a while. Like it probably you're learning it for the first time, but when you're comparing it to something that I've already played, you know it's different. You know. Yeah, I used to play the crap out of that on PC. It it, it is kind of weird using a controller for that game. <laughs> Some games are just meant for keyboard and mouse, and that's one of them. Awesome. Um, all right, so we're gonna move on to um, Xbox. You know, and I'm a little scared. Can you just leave anything Destiny out? No Destiny Two. <laughs> What, what else what, have you played this week, Xbox? Let's see. Uh, I played Destiny 2. Um, I, I, I played that a lot. But, Ooh, um, sorry. I, I, I did the raid. Um, I'm still waiting on two people for, for this week's Nightfall. I'm down. Uh, <laughs> I'll help. I'll carry you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> he'll, get, he'll get like 25% through. It'll be like, we can't do this, man. We can't. We just, it's not, it's not going to work. No. Let's, let's go play something else. Um. But not only that, I, I played, uh, like I said, Forza Motorsport 7. I said that at the beginning of the show. I actually um, I beat, like, the first round of, of the Series Cup, and come to find out they kind of expand uh, uh, the point system at the top, and they give you a whole bunch of new cars, and you get to go back through and, and, and do the Cups again. But this time you have to beat every single race within each Cup, and, and you get a lot of really cool prizes, which is awesome. I've been playing it on the X as well, and I have to say – the graphics on Forza Motorsport is insane. I have a regular HD television, and you can still see the improvements, the, the improvements to the cars, the improvements uh, to, to the sky, um, the, the, seeing the, the way the clouds move. 
throughout throughout the sky like before you race and stuff like that it's absolutely incredible that's um, pretty dope to hear that they that you can tell the difference even on a 1080p because you know obviously that's that's the running thing like it, it 1080p doesn't matter you know you can't see the difference i'm glad that oh, yeah, you're, you you're, 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 you're pointing that out that's big yeah and i, I mean it's a, a lot of people are, you know they told me when i got the x they're like oh you got a, you need a 4k and i'm like no you don't you know super sampling i'll be able to take those those steps up like i, I was able to play you know, for, like say Forza Motorsport, I was able to play it on the original Xbox One that I had in the room, right? So I got to see what it looked like on that. Now I have the X. I'm able to play it on the X with the enhancements, but on a regular HD television. And then down the line, we are going to get 4K televisions. And I'll be able to go back into it and see the even more upgraded version from there with the HDR and all that good stuff. And you can definitely see the difference when it comes to a standard HD television. Not only that, I, I've played Quantum Break. Uh, I've played Gears 4. I was just going to ask you, did you try Gears? Because Gears looks crazy. Which mode did you prefer better? The 60 frames, 1080p, or or the 30? Well, you... I did. I did 4K 30. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm using. Also, I think that's a better mode. And you need to check that out with Tomb Raider. Holy cow! 4K 30 on Tomb Raider looks insane. But the sleep, but I gotta say, the sleeper so far, the game that like my jaw dropped. I know what you're saying. It, is Quantum Break? I knew it. Yep. Quantum it does. Break. I have oh. not seen it yet. Oh my goodness! And like I said, standard HD television, uh, deal, you know, running it on the X with the enhancements, I, I it's absolutely incredible, incredible. Like I, I could not. I, I went in just to play a mission. I ended up like playing for like two and a half hours just because, just because I was like, all right, this looks crazy, and I just kept walking. You know, I, I did the first level. I'm, oh my goodness! How, how do the cutscenes, the the movies in between look? Um. They they look okay. I mean, there's uh, what really caught me was the environment. Uh, seeing that because they it, there was a type of haze over the game. Um, yeah, like a really lean over version. the screen kind but, of a look. But the it. thing yeah. is, you gotta you gotta remember the main character is telling his story. So this is a story like you're playing it from the past. Yes. So mm -hmm. it was kind of like it was kind of like an artful decision to do it that way helped with all the different layers of stuff that that was like going on on the screen you had like the sky cracking like shattered glass you had like stuff you know suspended in the air and and twisting and distorting and stuff so there's there's a lot of stuff going on in this game just to just for the aesthetics wise you know and uh i think they used that art style kind of like to cover up the different layers that they were that they were using for the game development Plus, it's also kind of like it kind of hints that they're talking about the past, like this stuff already happened. Um, but uh, seeing it clear up just that that little bit, because once you start putting 4K assets in there, the the, the haze kind of clears up. Absolutely incredible. Now I know what people were talking about uh, who played it on the PC, who were able to play it on on um, in the the 4K type mode when it comes to their PC and having it on Windows. Uh, they said everything cleared up and it looked phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, it, it looks insane. And it, you know, if you have the game, you got to do yourself a service and go back and try it with the X. With yeah, the I, I intend to, for sure. Oh, my goodness. That's what but, sucks. I tried the game and then I get engaged in the story, then I don't stop it. I tried Quantum Break and I was going to play for like five minutes and I played for like an hour or two. Oh, wait, wait until I try Final Fantasy 15. I, I have no idea when I'm going to play another game once I put that, once I start playing that, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. but, um, what did yeah, you like, think of a Super? You were playing on a 4K TV, weren't you? Yeah, it looks great. Like Everything, uh, everything looks awesome on 4K. I can't wait till like x and I'll get a 4K TV. They're, they're gonna be you mean Mel away. gets a 4K TV? Yeah. You, know, you, you guys, you know what's crazy? Um, because we have the category in the My Games and Apps. If you go to your games, you can like put a subcategory for Xbox, uh, Xbox One X enhanced games. Yep. I need Skate Three, backwards compatible, uh, Xbox 360 title. Skate Three is an Xbox One X enhanced game. I didn't even know that. I have to wow. actually, I have to go back in and see what the hell they did to that game because. That is it just me or did that go completely under the radar and nobody said that that game was an enhanced game? I don't remember anybody saying that. Me neither. Which game is that? Skate 3. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, that's definitely under the radar because that's the first time I'm uh I I don't own it so it didn't show up in my obviously didn't but is, is that one of the titles that's available 
in the Game Pass? Uh, no, well, they gave it away a, a while back, and um, uh, maybe I do have it. I don't know. Gold, as a games with gold, but like okay. I, I put the I put in the subcategory because I was like downloading the games that that were getting the enhancements. So once I didn't already have on the external when I switched over, and um, all of a sudden I saw Skate Three in that subcategory of Xbox One X enhanced game. I'm like, no, nobody told me about this. Does but, anyone? So I have to go in and see. Does, does anyone know if uh, Microsoft hit that 70 game mark that they were talking about for enhanced titles? Because I have about Hell 46 no. of them. Nope. <laughs> Not even close. I don't know. But you know what I would like to tell you guys? Well, I played this week. Yes, and we know. Oh! Yes. Xbox just went on a tangent, and then I fell asleep, and then I woke up He's in up the corner. Again. He's punished. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Xbox. Did yeah, you? I got, I got I got SpongeBob yelling at me that I talk too much on my phone. It was a blah right blah blah blah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, I played Call of Duty, um, World War Two, and Call of Duty World War Two. Oh, and uh, hmm, did I mention Call of Duty World War Two? And I think and that's then all somewhere I in between there, I was insulted for not playing Call of Duty World War Two. But you know what? I want to shout out <laughs> Lethal Papa. He's in the chat and. Good dude. Uh, he, he's always there to play with me, and we had a few awesome games throughout the week just playing that. And I even, like, okay, guys, I'm, like, maybe halfway to three-quarters through the campaign, and I absolutely love it. Now, you guys know I don't like playing single-player games, and I could not put it down. I literally played from, like, sometime early afternoon yesterday until, I don't know what time last night, like, 1, 2 in the morning. Wow. So you know that's unusual for me, especially like I, I got a question. Did you get hit answer. did you get hit with any loot crates that came from falling from the sky? Almost. Almost. <laughs> uh who was that? Oh, we were playing with Remix last night, Remix Essence. And um it was either Lethal or Remix who dropped a loot box and I heard it like hit the ground and I almost killed Lethal. <laughs> he was running <laughs> by and I dropped one and I was like, Oh, oh shoot, I didn't know you're there. I don't I don't think it'll hurt them, but you never know. I don't know. Guys, guys, I got to say one of the best things to hear in this house with her playing Call of Duty is like when she was in the story and, and they're like, cease fire. All of a sudden you hear one straight boom. And you hear something. <laughs> ah! like, you know, they were surrendering and <laughs> she kills one of them yeah, all the time. <laughs> they said it while I was already set up to shoot the guy. I'm sorry. It happened. It's not my fault. Oh, cease fire now? <laughs> Yeah, no. Don't worry, when... it's just a flesh wound. <laughs> <laughs> he only died a little bit. <laughs> Give him a band-aid. He only died a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I do wanna quickly uh bring something up. I know this is a little bit off of our our uh topic list here, but a lot of people were receiving five dollar um gift cards from Xbox in yes. their email. I didn't get mine. I didn't get one. All right, so here's the thing. Like, I actually read the full email <laughs> right while we were on this chat. So um, it's actually because you uh, did your goal for having the um, the Game Pass. So oh. you can win stuff. Like, I was reading yesterday, if you play any retro game um, or what is it? It was retro or something else for three hours, classic, retro or classic game for three hours, and then five hours, they have different tiers. So basically, this Game Pass will end up paying for itself if you're gonna get money back in gift cards, and they do like $500 gift cards. But I did read the email, so a lot of people said they did not get one. This is why you gotta play Game Pass, Um, because the email says, and I totally didn't read this, I just saw code, and I was like, oh, sh $5. It says, congratulations, you completed your Game Pass goal. Your mystery gift is a $5 Xbox gift card. Redeem on your console, blah, 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 blah. So. I bought a loot crate with it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what about mine? I'm sure you have to be like signed up to the Xbox Live Rewards program. Yeah. Um, I, I, I get, I get rewards so. from them all the time. I really do. I probably get about $200 a year from them easily. But then yeah, I also, like for having, Gamer, we buy everything. <laughs> it's just having Game Pass. So once you hit your goal, um, you get a mystery gift, and uh, a lot of people got the five dollar Xbox gift card. So um, I know we were complaining about the price um, back a while ago for nine ninety nine and stuff, 
But if you're going to get gift cards back, it kind of is going to pay for itself over time. You know, you're going to pay a little, but you're getting, let's say, dollars for the month, $9.99. We got a $5 gift card back. I spent $5 to play 100 games that I'm never going to play. But that's not bad. Just make sure you turn off auto renew. Or <laughs> you might yeah, a lot. What? 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 what happened? Yeah. So, um, anyways, I want to move on because uh, we spent a lot of time talking about the games that we play, um, mostly Xbox, <laughs> and it's cool to hear what everybody's been playing. But if you guys haven't been playing Call of Duty with me, I don't care. So, <laughs> that being said, I would like to talk about um, GameStop, guys. The boots. I want to talk about what? Talk a boots. I want to talk a boot. I can't talk like that. I don't know what I'm saying. I want to talk about GameStop. They canceled their Power Pass after they just started it, what, a month, month and a half ago? That's so That's so GameStop. You know, I, I saw a tweet. <laughs> and I, really, I really kind of wish I would have uh, wrote down the guy's name, but he said in the tweet, just when we were kind of oh, starting. Inferno. To, okay, uh, it was Inferno. Yes, awesome. Four okay, guys quarters. Thank you. Uh, he said, uh, just when we were starting to, you know, give them a little credit, they go and they pull something like this. You know, I th at, at this point, they're really grasping at straws because they know that their overall game sales are going to are going to eventually this, the company is going to die once. And again, we don't know if everything's going digital because still a lot of people love buying the actual disc and that's fine. But, you know, this was a, a, like a, a good way for them to generate. Uh, positive talk about the company and they really kind of you know crapped the bed by uh, starting it making a big deal over it and now canceling it one month later is ridiculous do we know why they canceled it yeah or? it absolutely is I don't know if they've even made a, a, a public statement regarding other than the, yeah we're canceling it I don't think there's a there's been a reasoning why I mean maybe they were losing out too much money maybe I don't know they suspended it, didn't they? Like, it's on hold for now. Because what I read, I seen that they saw that there was a flaw or something in the system. Like, just, I don't know. And they said it's suspended for now until they rethink, like, the rules or whatever they're going to have for it. Yeah, until, until the corporation could once again rake over the gamers. That, that's really yeah, what... Yeah, that's pretty much so it. they can give you less for your money. Yeah. That sucks because that's actually a really good deal. For gamers, for once, yes, absolutely. Life. I mean, like the only I think one of the negative uh, aspects of of that program is that you would actually have to physically go to the store to get a particular game, and you wouldn't obviously know if that game, if that said game you were looking for, is there. That's that is the only issue. I think the the whole power pass thing. All right, at first I was just like, "What the hell is this?" I think they're trying to do a blockbuster video type of red setup. red box kind of a thing, you know. Yeah, like in in 2017, that shit. Everything's digital these days. Yes. Um, they're 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 I guess in a sense going to lose money. I don't I don't know you know how it would really work. They don't carry enough of the big games, and I think the thing is they don't get enough used big games in. Like you know, uh, let's say. We'll use Call of Duty, for example. Right. right? People want to rent Call of Duty, but they sell out of it. They don't have any Call of Duty. They can't yeah, keep you, that many in you, stock. You'd be lucky to find one at a, at a particular store. You'd be lucky if you find it at Redbox. Yeah, it's <laughs> so, true. Um, yeah, I think it's just ridiculous. I think it was just um, a quick grab at money. And those people who did purchase it, um, they're going to be refunded for it. Uh, and I think they're they're getting a gift as well. Uh, but I think it's really, it's ridiculous. I think GameStop has done nothing but fail and fail over and over again. And I think they just need to just stop, you know, they're just drowning themselves. <laughs> they, they, they are gonna... Oh shit. I'm, I'm okay. going to be like the next blockbuster video. Like I see them totally shutting down. Yeah, absolutely. And you know here. what? At this point. I would just say fuck it. Like I like going there um, to buy stuff in one specific location, but they have done nothing but screw people over and over. And like, is it even worth it? Like we talked about last week, I'm opening up my own game store and it's going to be amazing. Can't wait. Grand and I'm going to price gouge. I'm going to price gouge. 
You're just like GameStop already. <laughs> I'll go oh. visit when it's open. Well, it's going to be where there's cool people and not dumb stuff going on, and I'm not going to let anybody down. I'll be there every day until midnight or 12.05 so you guys can pick up all your games. How about that? Ooh. Are you going to have bobbleheads and tell us to pre-order everything? I will have bobbleheads on a shelf and little, like... Um, Just bobbleheads, no bodies. No and bodies. you guys can come in, and you can shoot the bobbleheads with your Nerf guns, and it'll be oh, so cool. Awesome. It's going to be a party. Yes. I'm, I'm All there. right. So I need to stop because now I feel like I'm going off on a path of my own imagination, and it's horrible. <laughs> so um, CBL, did you chime in on this? I, I thought it was a great feature that they were doing, like a nice little thing for some people. Like always having more options, like regardless if you think of it shit or not. The more options that people have to get games for like a price like that, like it was a bit pricey, but you were able to keep whatever game you had, or you were able to keep one of the games that you took out by the end of your six months. six months. Like that's pretty cool, especially like if one of your games was like pretty expensive, so... That's sixty dollars. I mean, yeah. So you're basically getting it back nearly. So, uh, I oh yeah, I buy a Nintendo game, the last game, and then trade it back in. <laughs> they should do it with systems. Imagine. Uh, do it with systems. Ah, uh, that no, I said that'd be cool though. Uh, like, I'd be <laughs> like, yeah, can I get an Xbox One X and then just not bring it back? See you later. <laughs> you're just what, trying to get that Xbox One X. What, what Sonic said, that might have been the loophole they're trying to fix here because if they get the last game, they pay sixty dollars a month. They get the last game, they get it for like fifty four ninety nine or something, and they, then they trade that in for for store credit or whatever. Maybe somehow, some way, they're like, I, I don't know. I, I yeah, see that's uh, like that. The thing, the thing that I read was that the there was like a flaw or just it didn't make sense. So maybe that whole being able to keep an expensive game then probably trade it in. And then yeah, you basically six got... That... I'm well, sorry. Some for games don't... Yeah, like if it's a Nintendo game or something you're taking out, most of those games, they don't go down in price for a very long That's time. That's right. Because I was going to say, like after six months, the game isn't going to be nearly as popular as it was. There's going to be sales and things. Except but, Mario you know. and Zelda. Yeah, the, the, the only <laughs> games that actually hold their value uh, and sometimes even go up are, are you know, whether it's be the Switch or at the one point the Wii or the Wii U. They do hold their value, especially anything first party Nintendo, you're going to get top, top dollar for. I don't yeah. even know if the feature um, was coming to Ireland, so... Like, I don't know if GameStop was doing it over here or if it was just like, it, well, it, it probably would have been, but it probably would have been like in like a year or two. <laughs> we get everything mm -hmm. later, so. Yeah, we do. Well, you no, do, they, not me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we do. Yeah. Um, Since when it, did we, we moved? I didn't even know. <laughs> wait, I just no, want to crash on GameStop for like two seconds. I was actually in GameStop the other day. And this is my first time in GameStop since the Xbox One X released. And they still didn't even have a fucking picture of the console or even a picture at like where the Xbox like Again, games are. Like they had is, all that Xbox is One X marketing like, from Microsoft or fail or, 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 or lack of because we've talked about this numerous times on, and we've all talked on about this on numerous podcasts. I understand that the grassroots approach or you know with youtubers and and, and got and people like us who are on podcasts and in the chat and doing their own youtube channels i i get that that you know we're going to talk about xbox but we are the 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 real fans if you, you you're not going to get casual people to buy the system if no one knows what it looks like and that is all on microsoft's marketing team that is all on them that they don't get. Well, I mean, they're doing a terrible job because yes, there's no one to even say the console exists in there. Like, there's no price, no picture of it. It's just you know, have to ask someone behind the desk. Like, do you have the new Xbox? Is that yeah, a thing? You, you would logistically have to have that information. Uh, you have you'd have to be you know savvy with that information available that you you're looking for the box. And because GameStop, every everyone has told the story. When you go to buy a game, it's like okay, PS4. <laughs> you want it for the PS4? Uh, no, I, I want it for the Xbox. Oh, you, you do? Oh, and they kind of make. But we have a, it for PS4. 
Yeah, we, yeah, they, they kind of make a well, you know, PS4, they got the marketing deal. You'll get a free pair of boots and a loot box. <laughs> you should probably buy a PS4. <laughs> if you don't have one, buy this game first and then get your PS4. I think it's weird they took out like all the Xbox kiosks and all the game stops around me. It's well, I actually weird. thought that they were going to, you know, put new kiosks in there when they did that. Apparently not. Speaking of so. kiosks, Invader in the chat says Yoshida needs to call them. Uh, call up the stores and ask them for Xbox kiosks. So I'll, if she didn't I'll get to right that. on that. <laughs> Guys, I think I have to go reboot my computer. It's still freezing up pretty badly. Um, I'll be right back. What's, uh, so what's the next topic that we have on the list, Mel? Um, I'm hungry. <laughs> Isn't As it always. crazy how Actually, well? Actually, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Xbox One X sells eighty thousand. I guess it's units or in sales. I'm not really sure at this point. I was a little confused. Eight hundred thousand, right? No, uh, it was it was 80. actually 80,000 in the UK, which broke records. Yes, it so. broke it actually um it was uh, about the same as Nintendo Switch, but is it sales or units because the article that I read it kind of had a, a little bit of both ways, so you kind of had to figure it out. Did they do 80,000 in sales or 80,000? I, I think I think it was actually 80,000 in sales and mm. it, it it tied the 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 Switch and it it, uh, it leapfrogged over the PlayStation 4 Pro numbers. Yeah, 50,000 um, in sales in November for PS4 Pro, whereas we have, uh, and that was November, what, 2016. Um, yes. And then this uh, Xbox One X is 80,000 in sales, but the majority of the sales were the Project Scorpio version. So I'm going to let you guys talk about your thoughts and things on that, and I'll be right back, you guys. Well, you know, if if I may just take the lead here, I, I think what that basically says is that, you know, a $500 system will, in fact, sell. Uh, and we've discussed this, especially Xbox and I, we've discussed this on Crossfire, that uh, for the longest time since it was announced at E3, everyone was up in arms about who's going to buy a $500 box and, you know, why does it matter? Well, I mean, you know, obviously one of the taglines for Sony uh you know, when the PlayStation 4, uh, you know, versus Xbox One 1080p versus 900p gate, you know, uh, 1080p made you a better gamer. Uh, that was a direct quote from, you know, the brass at Sony. So what does a 4K machine make Xbox gamers? Uh, what, kings and, and queens? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. But all I know is that uh, I'm glad that you, Xbox, you took the time to tell your story about what you've experienced because you have a 1080p TV and you went into super detail on how you can see a big difference. Oh, yeah. So could you could you imagine what uh, gamers like myself, I have a 4K TV, and when I saw Gears of War running, uh, and again, I tried it both ways, 1080 60 and uh, 4K 30. I preferred the 4K 30. It looks absolutely stunning. I mean, Star Wars Battlefront 2, again, the, the, the character models, they look like you can reach into your screen and take them out as if they were toys. It, it, see, it's unbelievable. And see, boom, the, the reason why that is, that's not the overall resolution either. It's it's the improvements in the textures. It's having the, the higher 4K assets um, yes. in the game. And that's, that's why... When it came to the X, all right, I, I know I have a huge gaming library and stuff like that, but when it came to the X, it was a no-brainer. It wasn't just an upscaler. It wasn't just a resolution box, which we got to be honest, the, the PlayStation 4 Pro, it's basically a resolution box. You're still getting the same textures from the original, um, you know, PlayStation 4. Uh, they didn't they didn't up that at all because they don't, they don't have, um, you know, the memory uh, right. to, to put those into that system. So it's going to be your basic 1080p textures with just an overall bump in resolution. And um, it's it's good to see that the, the Xbox One X is, is selling like that. I, I have a feeling it's going to sell. It's going to sell fairly well all the way through. But I, I, you, I, yeah, I agree 100%. But you, you can also see that, you know, it's funny. You see, Sony is trying something. They're they're using their marketing genius to try to flip this, right? Because um, yep. they knew they knew the X was going to be great, and and you know they knew the X was going to do 4K. So now, anytime you you uh, hear about the PlayStation 4 Pro, uh, to to kind of get to the casuals ears, they're like, play games in dynamic 4K, which could be yeah. used as an adjective to describe the 4K. 
like to somebody who doesn't look into it when you see when you hear dynamic 4k it's like oh the 4k is just so awesome it's dynamic but no in all actuality they're saying it doesn't quite hit 4k yeah, it's, it's just, until they use the checkerboard yeah, yeah basically like it's just a, it's just a, a video trick but here's the thing we've again we've all said it power cells and the same way because you you remember a lot of people took a wait and see op uh you know uh, look at the xbox one and the ps4 and when it was determined that the ps4 was the uh more bang for your buck system you know in regards to it was a hundred dollars cheaper and you know it was a 1080p machine it made the so game very hype. you know it, it did it made it made the games look better people jumped to the ps4 i can guarantee you that the same Xbox 360 owners who went over to the PS4 because of power will be coming back to the X. I meant, mind you, it, it, it the system's only out a week. Let's let's see what the sales look like after Black Friday. And I have a funny feeling you're gonna you're gonna see sales starting to to, to uh, the my, uh, Xbox to start dominating these uh, these charts. All right, here here's the thing though. I don't I don't want to be the bringer of of doom and gloom and stuff. But like we were saying before with GameStop and how basically uh, Supersonic put in the chat that they took all the kiosks, all the Xbox One kiosks out of GameStops and stuff like that. We were talking about how people can go into GameStop and uh, unless they know what they're talking about, yeah, mm -hmm. like they have to go and say, hey, do you got the Xbox One X? And they'll be like, oh yeah, or, or whatever. But you have to know because there's no there's no real advertisement there. Um, Xbox is in the position that they have been in time and time again they are in a position to possibly shoot themselves in the foot it's absolutely right. correct yes and, well and said this is where this is where i think you know head of marketing aaron greenberg uh really needs to bring his crew together and say you know what uh enough's enough here all right yes. we we have the momentum right now and now we have to put it out there like nobody's business we have to have it all over gamestop we have to have it all over target we have to have it all over walmart everywhere we go and it's, they, they got to see the 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 new marketing the, the the new marketing term which is 4k 4k everything yeah i mean even sony that isn't doing native 4k is using 4k in marketing they're mm -hmm. just calling it dynamic 4k you know what i'm saying and it, it's got to be everywhere it's got to be in all the stores all the malls you got to see it uh especially for black friday and and from here moving on out and until that marketing gets its act together I'm not sure how far the X will actually go. No, you you're 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 hundred percent right. And you know what? I, I do like Aaron Greenberg. I, I think that he is uh he's a good he's a good face for the Xbox system and for the company and for the brand. He's a cool guy. Uh, he is he, he is always out there. He does answer people on Twitter. Um he's out there with the fans, he's giving uh -huh. out wristbands. I mean, you give the guy credit for that, but I but I, I agree with you. I think that if the Xbox One X is to succeed they are going to have to take a page out of Sony's playbook, which has worked for Sony since this generation started, and really go strong and hard into the marketing push to sell the system. Because again, we're going to sell it because we're fans. We're and we're not we, obviously we're not getting anything for it, but we're excited because we finally are in a position where our games look better than we've ever seen them. So we're excited. We're going to talk about it's it. Not, it's not just our about. games, uh, console games in general. Yes, absolutely. Right? Like, and, and a lot of it, like they, they did something completely genius with the Xbox One X. They took components that not even Digital Foundry think thought they could use, like yes, the Jaguar and yep. stuff like that. And they, they pushed forward innovation with make, making DirectX 12 physical on the chipset. Um, uh instead of instead of building um building your your architecture and then looking in for for bottlenecks they built the one x off the bottlenecks fixing each bottleneck which is yes. how you got the architecture the way it is on the xbox one x stuff like that it's absolute innovation and, and with that they're actually poised from now into the future because if you think yes. about it if yeah. you think about it, there's no ryzen in here right um they're using a, a version of of the Polaris uh, GPU, right? Right. These, these are all common things nowadays. Yeah, they're technically their parts off the shelf right so, now. So yeah. even when the PS5 comes out and they're they're using the Ryzen and they they might have gone to Vega or possibly Navi, right? You can have Xbox still use like 
the the next chips coming up the ryzen or the vega or the navi but now they have different patented like um different patented things that they could use like the phys physical dx12 uh they can look at certain bottlenecks or, or certain things that are slowing down with the x now and they can fix that moving forward and and they actually have they have that foothold to actually leap past the next. Yep. I was actually, I was just going to bring that up because yes, Microsoft by doing, by waiting the year after the pro, they set themselves up in a position where when the PS five comes out and again, people, some people are saying 2019, I'm a firm believer. It's going to be 2020 to, to, uh, to match with the 25th anniversary of the PlayStation itself. I think that would be good for Sony. Mm. Literally, all they have to do is sit back and wait, and then a year later, launch the Xbox, whatever, and it's going to be the more powerful box. They have put themselves in a great position. And here's the thing. We don't know what this system can do. So even if the PS5 comes out in 2020, the, the, the devs have, will already have three years under their belt working on the Xbox One X and they could possibly be able to. Maybe they won't. Obviously, it's not going to pass the PS5 in power. No, but, no, it's but it'll certainly sit, for that for that one year, it'll sit very yes, very it, comfortably. It will at least match it, where it won't be an embarrassment. Like, oh my god, these graphics and, are horrendous. And it'll be a fraction of the price because it'll be the older console that's yes. still holding up with kind of like the new generation coming. I mean, because for all, yes, for all you know, in in 2020, sorry, bot, uh, in 2020 the xbox one x could be 250 dollars yeah no doubt no doubt it, it can drop it could drop like crazy man um especially you know if they're planning on you know whenever they're planning on the next iteration xbox which they're already working on yes, phil spencer absolutely. already said even before they released this one they're like yep yeah, we already got the other one in, in research and development now so that's only a matter of time like they they got they got the ship moving phil spencer's got the ship moving in the right direction now we just got to get the other divisions working together we need the marketing and stuff like that because otherwise otherwise this this momentum is great now and it's brand new hardware so all of a sudden it's catching the eyes of of the hardcore gamer and the hardcore tech guys let's also be honest with that because now you have a console that is claiming 4k gaming so even the pc guys want to test it out you, you see what i'm saying so there's yes. pc yeah, guys people, that are, that are picking it up People love tech, man. and yeah, I think it's gonna do really good. But I think they're gonna make a lot more in the S's because. But you gotta you gotta ride through that 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 initial hardcore wave of purchases. And, right. And yeah. We need right. To, you need to go six months from now. The hardcore people will have already had their systems for that long. You need the medium range folks mm -hmm. who have a PS4 vanilla and have like an Xbox One to make. Well, you know. I can get rid of these, and you know, or may, I want to keep my PlayStation, but I can get. I'll trade this in because I want to. I want to do 4K, and I want to mm -hmm. be a 4K gamer. All right, guys, I'm back, but hey, okay. it's awesome. No, no, no. I never went anywhere. I was closing down stuff in the background, but it still keeps freezing up pretty badly. So I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna try to chat and make it through. I did put the first uh, ep um, episode. I did put the first uh, one month of uh, Game Pass giveaway in the chat. Uh, it. In that one, I'm sorry to change the subject it. real quick. Yeah, um, tell me what episode of Coffee Casuals and Consoles we discuss, quote unquote, Scalebound divides the community. Um, it's Scalebound divides the gaming community. Um, first person with the right episode number will win a one month of Game Pass. Uh, so guys- uh, 13. No, stop, you can't win. Um, <laughs> guys, uh, let us know in the chat. If you have to, you know, back out of here for a moment and then come back and let us know which episode we discussed it. So, anyways, continue. Uh, uh, but hold on, hold on. You do you do you number your episodes like how? Uh, for the most part, I do. I I forgot a couple, but I picked one with a number. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so look for a number, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, it is not thirteen. Don't listen to Xbot. He's a liar. <laughs> he just it's wants 86. to win himself. The first person with the right number, but anyways, continue on. All right. Well, let let, let let's just take a uh, um a stab at uh the, the next topic up, and that's the game awards. Um, does anybody care? I mean, that's. Uh, you know. I love you it. Know what? I I, I think, care. 
I, you know, I care I for, I care because there are developers who get the spotlight who never do. And that's, that's a, that's a big thing. I don't care about Jeff Keighley. I, I think the guy is a massive tool. Um, I think that he, uh, he, he, he's a, you know, besides being an, an absolute Sony suck ass, to the point of an embarrassment. I thought you were going to call him an asshole, but you said no, absolute. I mean, so yeah, I'm like, I mean, oh, all right. yeah, I mean, listen, I don't like to curse, but I am going to say that, you know, the thing he pulled during E3 where he dropped the Xbox One price before Phil Spencer did, and Microsoft still sent this guy, uh, you know, an Xbox One X uh, with all those games. Real quick. Yeah, that was kind of fucked up, wasn't it? Yeah, guys, absolutely. Guys, yes. real quick, we have a winner. Oh, cool. All right, the first winner is Jesus. He put number two. That was episode number two. Awesome. Um, and That's Dylan Stebbins was right behind him. He just wasn't fast enough. I'm sorry, Dylan. Jesus won that one month of Game Pass. Um, nice. Congrats. Congratulations. So, um, Jesus, uh, do you have Twitter? If you don't, uh, send me your email uh, at some point in time, and then I will get that code to you. Awesome. Right, right, so wait, I'm I got sorry. a question about the gaming awards. Go ahead, is go, go with it. Gonna, is Jeff Keighley going to make out with Kojima again this year? Was it 13? <laughs> the, Why did you just got lots it's... of years last year, <laughs> so more likely. I mean, that guess, look, that guess here's, pretty, here's the thing. I mean, uh, you, know, uh, yeah, you know, we make fun of it, and, you know, Kojima is his friend, and what happened to Kojima with Konami was totally <laughs> effed up. I mean, there's, there's no doubt about it. He really got the raw deal. And for Jeff to go out there... And publicly, you know, uh, you know, put, uh, you know, take him off the hot plate and literally put Konami. I, I, I applaud Jeff for that because that was good. And you don't, you know, you don't really see that. But like I said, I, I still, I still think that he pulled a total a hole move during E3 by not allowing the Microsoft executives who work for the company unveil the price for what I don't know. And the fact that they still deal with him is sad, but I, 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 like I said, I'm going to watch it because it is currently the only gaming awards that we have as gamers. So we're kind of stuck, but, uh, you know, I, 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 I like it because the, the, the developers who are really behind the scenes of some of great, great games are getting a, a notification, you know, in the public view. And that's, I, I like that part of it. What date is it on I, again? Is it the 6th or 7th? It's in the first it's, week of December. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the first week of December. I, I, I'm not sure if it's the 3rd or something. It, it's it's very early in December. Uh, again, you know, I, I'm hoping to see some, you know, surprise announcements. Uh, I'm going to make I'm going to make a prediction of what I think we're going to see because we haven't seen it all year. And I know for a fact that people have actually played it. And that is the uh, there's, there's going to be an announcement by Capcom. And it's going to show the first gameplay footage of Resident Evil 2 Remake. Remake. Yeah, that sounds like a good, good one. Yeah, I, don't well, has, well, I, 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 I was expecting it at, at Tokyo Game Show and nothing. E3, nothing. Gamescom, nothing. Um, I it's thought been it was been over two up. years since they announced it. Yeah, so. yeah. So, I mean, unless it shows up at PSX, which is right after that, which is Sony's show. But according to Sony, they're not going to have any new announcements. So, my bet is that it's going to be... Um, unveiled at the, the the Game Awards, and if anyone knows me, not only am I a Resident Evil freak, but Resident Two is literally my number one game in the history of my 35 years playing games. Where do you stand with Trey Nemesis? I love it. It it's, it's, it falls in right in number number two. I, those two games are absolutely fantastic. I think I just downloaded a Resident Evil game yesterday from the Game Pass. I'm um, my knees okay. Uh, the Legend is all the for Game of the Year. The Legend is all the Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey. Hands down, Zelda. Yes, Prince hands down, Zelda. Yeah. All right. Horizon, Horizon Zero Dawn, and Players Unknown Battleground. Do you think? How is PUBG, PUBG up there? Better? That's what I'm saying. That's not even finished. Yeah, uh, that's true. Because yeah, apparently that, that, that's games don't need, don't need to, to be finished. Still a preview game. Yeah. I'm looking at them right now. Right. And uh, I think Super Mario Odyssey is going to take it because everybody's ranting and raving about how awesome Super Mario Odyssey is. It is really Odyssey good. Is. My goodness. It is fantastic. I have a feeling Nintendo are going to announce it. Because like, we all know the next piece of DLC for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is coming. 
Yeah. Um, fucking super excited for it. They haven't shown anything about it, but it's taking place after the actual game. And this is the first Zelda game to actually have any sort of DLC or anything that continues the story. So once they bring up a trailer, if they do it before the Game Awards, that's going to get a lot of hype back for Zelda and stuff like that. Because that game was fantastic. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Yes, I, loved- I, I absolutely agree. I, I put over 100 hours into it, maybe even 120 plus hours into it, and I loved every minute of it. Yeah, I'm the because, same. I 150, I would have no problem going back and playing the expansion. I still have to actually finish the Master Quest. Uh, what's it called? The Trial of the Sword? It's yes. actually pretty hard. I failed after a bit. Yeah, it, 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 it does beat you up a little bit. Yeah. In Zelda <laughs> Breath of the Wild? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, my son is so obsessed with that game. He plays it every day. He tells me about the clothes that he's got, and he's like, hey, mommy, look at this. Did you get this yet? And I'm like, no, because you keep playing it. You won't let me play. This kid's obsessed with it. He's probably going to beat it before you guys. I beat you. No, no. You hey, do you guys want to go through these lists? <laughs> you didn't <laughs> really beat it. <laughs> I, I, I got all the things I except all. I didn't collect all the fucking. What do you call the green the things that from? The nine hundred. Yes, yes, yeah, there's the nine hundred and ninety nine of them. I yeah, like I'm not that crazy. <laughs> but I did do all the dungeons and beat the boss, and I have a hundred and five out of hundred and twenty shrines done. Wow, that's so. awesome. All right, yeah. what's your predictions, everyone, for Game of the yeah, Year? Yeah, let's, let's, let's talk Which predictions. Person? I gave mine. Let's hear everyone else's. I, I say Zelda, s- hands down, too. Zelda's going to get it, uh, no, no doubt. I'm going to go with uh, Super Mario. I'm going with Mario. Mario too. Nipples. That's why. Yes. Mario and Nipples, yes. <laughs> Do we want to go through each category or some of them, at least? Uh, the ones that are interesting. I we guess. just basically talked about Game of the Year. So hold up, where are we go now? Uh, best game direction. Awarded we got to Wolfenstein Game Studio 2. for outstanding creative vision and innovative innovation in a game direction and design. And you can go ahead and talk. Oh, go ahead. Uh, well, Wolfenstein 2, Resident Evil 7, Biohazard, The Legend of Zelda. Odyssey, I think Zelda Zero or Dawn. Resident Evil. Yeah, yeah I, I would actually give the nod to RE7 <laughs> because we didn't expect much from that, and that wound up being uh, gross. Incredible. And let, let us know in chat, chat your thoughts too. Yes. Absolutely. Um, I don't care about Re- <laughs> I, Resident Evil 7, okay? But I think Wolfenstein is going to take it, or Wolfenstein, however it's said. Um, I think I say uh, the reason why I said Wolfenstein is because is wherever he is smiled from ear to ear like a chest iron cat. (laughs) What happened? My shit broke up again. What? No, I was saying you when you said Wolfenstein somewhere, Mooch, if he's listening, smiled from ear to ear. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) I don't know how it said honestly. I know they had this whole conversation of Steen and Stein, (laughs) but Mario. Ma- Ma- I say I say Mario and it it's drives Mario. Crazy. <laughs> Jesus. Makes his ears All right, bleed. What, what's your vote? <laughs> I'm gonna uh, go with Resident Evil Seven. Um, nope, Wolfenstein Two. I got I gotta let the kids in, and I I didn't hear I didn't hear the. Hold on, what what were the games again? Just real quick. All right, it uh, is two Res- Resident Evil Seven, but uh, Zelda, Mario, and Horizon Zero Dawn. Best game direction it is. Horizon Zero Dawn's gonna win that one. You're that welcome. Was, that was a good game, though. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Thank you welcome. for ruining it, Xbox. Now we'll now Congratulations. We'll all... Congratulations. <laughs> Disappointed. Let me go. Disappointed. Let the 14 year old in the house. By the way, we locked him out. Oh yeah. Okay, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold outside. Best narrative. I uh, wait. I didn't vote. Um, no. I Resident Evil. I vote. Okay. Next. It doesn't count. I was just kidding. Uh, I go with Resident Evil also because it's a comeback and it's like a reboot for the franchise after the Resident Evil 6 that uh, magically somehow did not kill the franchise. It was that bad. So, yeah, Resident Evil 7 bounced back. It had a great direction this time around and lots of people enjoyed it. Awesome. And I'm sorry, uh, Supersonic Station, what were you saying? Oh, I just voted for Resident Evil 7. Uh, like, I even think, like, I love this game. I think that's one of... Between that and until or Evil Within t- Two, like those are my two things for Game of the Year. And my personal that's, that's opinion. A, that's such a big surprise, Sonic. <laughs> knowing your background, you know, and, and what you love in terms of movies and stuff like horror. that, I'm surprised. Horror games, <laughs> yes. really? What? I love horror, and plus, I like that they did the whole thing in VR too. So I think 
definitely Resident Evil. It's going to be a Wolfenstein. You guys are all wrong. For, for, for narrative, what, what, were the, what were the games? Um, they are, drum roll please, brrr, the same shit as well. Oh, uh, what remains of Edith Finch? I can say right now that's going to take it. All right, I haven't even played the game, but I know Xbox got all a little teary eyed and stuff. The, and the narrative that that should probably take it. The, the narrative. narrative, the narrative of the game, how 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 the um how the story unfolds, uh, how how it's like spoken and cleared throughout throughout the story. That's the narrative, basically. Um, like yeah, that that should definitely. There's probably no other game. I, I didn't even hear any uh, other games on that list, but Edith Finch should probably get that one. Yeah, I've heard lots of great things about Hellblade. Oh, Hellblade's in there. Oh, yeah. damn! What, what they're Hellblade, doing? Hellblade. Like, near Automato. Uh, I'm fucking butchering that one. No, near near's not gonna win it. Near's garbage. Yeah. Anyway, Wolfenstein Two, uh, Horizon oh, Zero Dawn. Wolfenstein is is garbage as well. So let's go. Real quick, uh, P. Diddy. P. Diddy in the chat says, anybody here want to buy a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to change it. I, I think Hellblade might win the narrative. <laughs> he said it kind of sucks, though. <laughs> That's hilarious. Nice pun. <laughs> well, yeah, hold on. Hold on. Wolf, 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 Wolfenstein, what, what Wolfenstein is to me is an old school first person shooter. There's not, if you, if you strip down, the graphics right take it down to the frame it's it's a uh, oh, first person shooter that you got from like the 90s just the 60 frames per second now you put in all the polish <laughs> well that's that's the whole thing though you, you put in the polish you put in the graphics and everybody's like oh this game is just so great but in, in the end to me it's nothing innovative i mean you, you have this game that doesn't have any multiplayer to it put something innovative in on the single player besides graphics like make it interesting to me it's not interesting to me it's just another 90s first person shooter like i can see that game doing well with a with horde new mode. polish on it that's that's like what a, it a kind of horde where you're just fighting lots of nazis just infinite ways of them coming in and because it's a shooting game for us and it's basically just you fighting off waves so that way you have something to grind that after you beat the game and horde modes done right like gears and stuff like that can be pretty enjoyable there's there's a horde road horde mode and Wolfenstein Stein. No, I said that like that'd be something cool if they added. Like you said, if they brought something new to our yeah. something. I say that game could go with a horde mode. Yeah, and, and see, like I see people bringing up Doom in the chat, but Doom, they they sped that last up. Year, didn't it? They sped up Doom so fast. Right. Yeah, you had, it you is had very coming, fast. That game. They had things coming at you from right, left, top, bottom, all the time. Like that that was the niche when it comes to that doom. When it comes to this Wolfenstein, to me, like it's nothing new. They they didn't speak. You have it to up. call it Wolfenstein Stein. Okay. So now, from now on, that's all we will refer to. Stein Are we still talking about best narrative? <laughs> I don't know because Tony says he's lost. I'm a little lost. I'm like, where did we go off? Track You're the host then? of the show. You can't be lost. <laughs> yes, I right. can because I'm Mel and I was born lost. Well, people, all right. Best narrative game is Hellblade. What remains of Eden Finch? Hellblade. Near I have Auto to change it to Mamana. Hellblade because it's newer. Stop talking for just a moment, guys. Well, Hellblade. I mean, Supersonic finish your words. Hellblade, Wolfenstein 2, or Horizon Zero Dawn? It's Wolfenstein Stein, uh, first of all. I'm going to go, go with Wolfenstein 2. I think the story and the narrative were fantastic. All right, I'm so go with picks Wolfenstein Stein. I pick Wolfenstein Stein. All right, and I'm sorry. Go ahead, uh, CBL. Yeah, I pick Hellblade because that game, I haven't played it, but I want it. And whenever it goes on sale, I will pick it up. But I've heard great things. It's meant to be. It's not meant to be too expensive right now. It's meant to be a game that's long enough that doesn't overstay its welcome and it has a pretty good story all the way through. And I think it has something to do with mental health or something. I can't remember. Yes. Yeah, 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 it, yep. You know what, CBL? I was going to say you can't pick a game you haven't played, but I picked. I haven't played Wolfen any of these. <laughs> I picked Wolfenstein Stein, and I was like, all right, um, I haven't played it. It's just I go by what people always talk about how amazing a game is, too. So. I, I love, I love, I oh, love in the chat. Good. They said I, I just shot a hole in my credibility with the whole Wolfenstein thing. I'm, I'm gonna shoot a bigger hole. I didn't like the first Wolfenstein that came Holy out. Holy matrimony! Ooh. Shots All have right? been fired. Chat. Okay. I didn't like it. Same thing. No innovation. It was just the same thing. It's a twitch shooter. 
with no multiplayer. So, yeah, no, I didn't like either one of these. Just because right, so. you can't get a stupid cape. <laughs> Wolfenstein is canon definitely too. Does not discount that it's an amazing game. I'm okay. sorry. I love I my game. I, I <laughs> vote um, What Remains of Eden that Finch because that's um, a totally 100% narrative game. So I think that's going to win. I already yeah. picked that. Oh, you, yeah. Well, I agree with you then. <laughs> what's, what, what's the next category? All right. Best Art um, Direction Destiny 2, Cuphead, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Persona 5 or Ugh. Horizon Zero Dawn. Cuphead I should win that one. Cuphead. Yeah, that, that's, that's 100, I'm, I'm, my vote's going to Cuphead. They're not yeah. going to win it, though. They're no. Not gonna win it. Persona's going to win it. Watch. Cuphead kind of blew up, though, didn't it? Like, lots of people. Yeah, they're not going to win it, though. The, the, the thing is, it, it's an Xbox slash Windows game. Like, they're, they're not going to win it. Persona's going to win it, yeah. No yeah, way. but you know what's funny? That's, I'm just that's not an, talking anymore. That's, uh, that's a PlayStation 4 only game. Yeah, they PlayStation always wins because of Jeff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's that's true. It's just, you guys might throw a dig in there, but you, a cup for, you know every game that you that's on the list is worthy to be there. I just think Cuphead is leaps and bounds better than them all. I vote Cuphead one hundred percent. Cuphead. Well, I haven't played Horizon, <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn or Persona, so I don't know. Or Cuphead actually. But that game, it's about art design, and that game's hand-drawn. They spent years making it. The game looks amazing. I don't need to play it to be able to see it, and that game looks fantastic. I think that game should get it. It should. It, it definitely should. But unfortunately, to make uh, to make Persona even more uh, than what it is, I mean, come on, you can shower with old men I, as, as a kid. I mean, that, that's... Wee! that's <laughs> it's quite exactly. creepy, actually. That's it right there. So it's got <laughs> it's got to win, right? I mean, yeah. That's, that's so Sony. <laughs> a cu Cuphead should win it hands down, but it's not going to. What win. about you, Mel? What do you think? You know what? I'm not talking anymore because I can't I am so talk. sorry. I am so sorry. Well, where are my options? I can't get in my phone right now. For Art Direction, I believe it was uh, Persona 5, uh, Cuphead... Um, and I'm not sure what the other ones were. <clears throat> I think Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's the option. So that's a big that's, one. That's that a big one's one. amazing. It's beautiful. But uh, yeah, that one's gonna win. That's my that's my prediction. What's the All what's right. the next category? Here's the next one. Best score See, music. I'm the host and I can't even are... talk, so that's why I'm not talking. <laughs> Okay, take it away. I thought you couldn't see the no, things. I can. It's on my phone, but my finger was locked out for a moment because I have the oh. But no, go ahead, Supersonic. I'll just sit no. back. I, I insist. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> go. God damn it. I was like, no, I'm not. So the next one is best score slash music for outstanding music. Inclusive of score, original song, and slash or licensed soundtrack. Destiny 2. <gasps> Everybody clap. Wee. Okay. And then we have Cuphead as a nomination. Wee. Um, <laughs> then Nero Automata. Automata? Automata. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That game does not deserve it. No, I agreed. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey and Persona 5. So those are the options for best score slash music. Now, guys, I, I had just have one fucking question. Who chooses these games? Because there's so many games. They are so the many same. games. That what? There are the same ones in every category. Well, yeah, there's so many games that are all the same in the categories. Um, and then there's so many other games that could be chosen from. Like, I don't think it's fair. I think it's bullshit. And I think we had the same argument last year. Right? I don't know if they do a vote prior to, you know, to, to actually announcing the categories. Like he does like a, a I'm not sure. I, I'm speculating here. And maybe I'll admit somebody in the chat knows that usually he'll do some sort of a Twitter poll and give a list of what he thinks, and maybe he goes based on that. I don't know. I really couldn't say. Yeah. But, uh, there are a lot better games that you could be on that list than what you have. Like Nero Automata, listen, it looks great. Uh, I played maybe two minutes of it, and uh, I played the demo, and it looks fantastic. It's, it's, it's a 90s classic game, but I don't think it deserves to be on that list. It's yellow. Like, the game is all tinted yellow. Like, I... <laughs> 
freaking hate that. But we're talking about music on the games. So, yeah, no, music hands down. Des- I, and, and I know people are going to say, but Destiny 2 should win it hands down. That does have a great soundtrack it all does. the way through. Yes, it absolutely does. All the way through. And it has to. And the thing is, like, when you when you go through so many strikes and, and there's only so many there before, you know, you, you start doing the same things over and over again. One of the things that keeps it fresh is the music and the music in this game will keep you going. Even if you're doing the same thing or as you're doing uh, as you've done like 50 times before, the music it gives you that motivation and, and it's it's really good. They did a great job with the music in Destiny 2, and I I think it should win it, but it probably won't. What's well, uh that Mario Odyssey song is pretty cool though. I haven't played the game to hear the rest of like what the music and sounds are like in it, but that Odyssey song is pretty cool. But the Legend of Zelda, like I think this game is the weakest Zelda game for music because most of the classic music and is taken out of this game and they didn't really add anything new. Like the game is pretty silent for most of it with a few tunes, but none of them are actually rememberable like Zelda's Lullaby and other Zelda teams when you're in the village and stuff like that. Like I know Zelda's soundtrack and I don't know Breath of the Wild even after 150 hours. So I don't think it is. It's just on it because it's Zelda and it'd be weird. They'd be like, oh, you have to put Zelda on it because everyone knows Zelda's classic for its music. Mm. Here's my vote. Although I love Cuphead, I'm going with Destiny 2. The music's phenomenal. Yeah, like, Destiny or Cuphead. Yeah. Destiny I'll go with, though. I'm going to go with Cuphead. I want to know what the, the chat thinks, but I have to say the <clears throat> the whole 1930s, 40s, whatever the hell it is, is um, definitely going to get people. Um, I, I was listening to Xbox play, and I wasn't even watching. Okay, sometimes I was. And the game looks hard as hell. I haven't played it yet. But just the music kind of, like, I find myself bopping my head along and kicking my feet while I'm sitting there playing my stupid mobile game. No, it, it, <laughs> it definitely has a fun soundtrack for Cuphead, for sure. My, my choice, my nod I'm going to give to Destiny 2, because Destiny 2's uh, soundtrack is is epic. It really is. Gets you in the mood. Yep. All right. Anybody to else? Shoot to things choose? and get capes. I think most of us all yes. vote for Destiny on that Capes one. for the win. <laughs> Hashtag capes rule. <laughs> no, no capes. Uh, the, next, track, the next like, topic hold, hold is on. best audio design. I think <laughs> Poor Mal. We basically just did audio. Just, just step on my face. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh, oh, snaps. Put your foot down. Come on. I'm not putting my foot down. Fuck this shit. I'm throwing papers everywhere. All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't want to make a mess because then I have to clean it up. Um, so uh, in the chat, Fastback says Cuphead. Yay. Uh, Lethal Papa says Destiny 2. Punkitish Gaming is taking a step back a few years. He said Destiny. Not Destiny 2, just Destiny. Wow. Uh, um. And then we have Yeezus, Destiny 2. It has really good soundtrack. Yes. And then Joker Quinn says, no capes, just cut head. <laughs> <laughs> Punkitish, I know you meant Destiny 2. Um, sorry, let me see. Uh, Yeezus says, Mario, Zelda, Horizon have six nominations. Each shake my head. Oh, snap. He said 666. Six, six. Oh, boy. That's not good. That's Man. very interesting. It was very, look at that. He's, he's getting all Illuminati uh, breakdown nice. on us. So uh, that that's very interesting, though. Um, so yes, um, CBL, if you'd like to present the next topic. Oh yeah, I was just saying the next one is best audio is on, audio design. I'm I'm pretty sure we, I guess, there a real point doing this one is it's the same as the other one. Yeah, we we kind of skipped that, right? Uh, does it have anything different in it? Uh, Resident Evil. Is Hellblade that, different? That's not that's not different. <laughs> was Hellblade in the last one? Uh no, so I guess that Hellblade wins. Hellblade was one. in uh, narrative. <laughs> well, since yeah, since Hellblade wasn't in the last uh, category, they went automatically. By you know, it's funny yeah! because you know, technically that game should be in there because I I bought the game. Uh, I literally downloaded. I did not play it. Um, but uh, Mooch has and a few others, and they and it's been said that when you put on headphones yeah the voices in your head and you stuff hear the crazy. voices yeah that that's an amazing option and i i cannot believe that a game that utilizes the fact that it's about mental illness and for you to actually feel like you are the character which is what this is trying to do 
that you put on headphones and you logistically hear the sound, the voices in your head, so to speak, that's powerful. And that, how that's not in the category is shocking to me. Hmm. You know, with I a game that's about like uh, mental illness and stuff, I'm surprised this entire panel hasn't played it. I'm just, I'm just saying. No, you know what? I, I, I bought it. I wanted to support the devs. I think that that dev is amazing. Um, this series, awesome. Yeah, they're, they're, if you haven't played the DMC, you're missing out. Um, the game prior to that with the Monkey King was um, amazing. Um, what the heck was mm -hmm. it called? Is that on the 360 and the PS3? Uh, it's in enslaved. Is yes, enslaved. enslaved. Thank you, Bob. Uh, that, that game is fantastic. Man. Ten out of ten. Fantastic. I love that game. Dude, you can you can follow Ninja Theory all the way back to the original Xbox with Kung Fu Chaos. They just make quality games. Yes, all yeah. the way through. Yep, absolutely. They're just a fantastic. Uh, you know what? I know that we we're talking about uh, um, you know about the awards and stuff, but would wouldn't it be amazing if Microsoft picked up Ninja Theory? And had them make a story-driven exclusive for the Xbox platform. Of all, and I, you know, it's it again, we're a little off subject here, and I'm sorry to you know bounce us out of that. But the one thing that we didn't talk about is Microsoft reiterated the fact that not only are they going to be starting first-party studios, but they, if if need be, they're going to buy a few to kind of push the envelope with getting exclusive contents you know on, on their system and ninja theory would be such an amazing developer for them to have in their portfolio just saying no it would, yeah, it would be. Okay. I, just, I don't think they're for sale like that though i think they'll they'll do what they call second party no that would, would be no fine problem. but you know what though Maybe, you don't know money talks you know what i'm saying i mean i don't know yeah, if they would well, sell see, the company per se but they see, could sign some sort of an exclusive you know three game deal with microsoft you know yeah. I hear I hear a lot of YouTubers, a lot of podcasters and stuff talk about, hey, money talks, man. Like Microsoft, they just have to open their their checkbook or whatever. But here's the deal: some developers actually believe in their development team to the fact that they don't want to merge yes. with a a Microsoft or a PlayStation. If you look at what Insomniac is, the perfect example of that. Yeah. yeah. If you look at what Ninja Theory has done, they came with a a kind of like a AAA mentality with Hellblade, but at like a a um. Uh, a double a like price tag for development yes. right and actually if you remember bot they just broke even on the game uh so i would love for them to make money and and have that come out for the xbox one could you imagine what the what it looked like in 4k oh, it's, it's gonna come there's there's no there's no um there's no contract for exclusivity right on, there, on, there is not Hellblade. right correct so it could come over to the xbox no problem and i think uh over time it's definitely going to do that but um I, I just see I see Ninja Theory. They're they're trying to mold their own identity in the gaming industry. I don't I don't think that this I don't think that they would be susceptible to going Microsoft Studios right now. I think they're trying to really uh, hone their company as their own. But that being said, like uh, second party, the way Insomniac did Sunset Overdrive, yes. if they did something like that on Xbox, that that would be awesome because they are a very talented. They're, they are a very talented group of developers, and I would love to see that. Yeah. So, sorry for the hiccup, but I, I thought it was uh, was interesting that we were talking about that. Um, so let's get back to the uh, Game Awards. Sorry, folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the next one that I can see that's like probably worth mentioning, like going down, is best ongoing game. Like the other one before that was like best performance and stuff, but it was mostly just on Charred Actors. That's not going. So is, that like, is that like a game as a service type thing? Yeah. yeah what, it's a new one. Who has that on there? That's fucking stupid. <laughs> Who has the best loot boxes? <laughs> Who has the Destiny best 2! Yeah! <laughs> No, I'm going to say fuck? who has the best loose boxes is probably going to have to go to Star Wars Battlefront 2. Sorry. <laughs> you, don't wanna, you don't, you don't want to win that title. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, best ongoing game, go you know, Warframe, Rainbow Six Siege, Overwatch, GTA mm -hmm. Online, Destiny oh, 2. That's the one that's going to win it. Our yeah. players and owns Battlegrounds, even though that game hasn't officially launched. So obviously they're going to be supporting it right now because they're like actually making the game. <laughs> Wait, uh, Destiny, would, Destiny would, 2 would, hasn't added anything to their fucking game yet. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know they will. 
But yeah. You know. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I think the easy answer there is GTA 5. I mean, that game just continues to amaze. It shows up in the te- top 10 every month without fail. You got to give them the massive Have amounts of credit for Warframe? still. <laughs> Stop encouraging Rockstar to fucking rob us. Hey, hey, you guys play Warframe? GTA 5. No, I played Warframe. It's a good game. It, it just never, you know, it never hooked me. They just released a new expansion that basically made it like an open world area for people to go around on and stuff, like a massive expansion. It's pretty cool looking. I have to play. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. I think Overwatch is going to win that though. I, I do. I, I don't don't underestimate the power to bl- power of Blizzard when it comes yeah. to all this. Even even over GTA Five, I, I just feel like with what Overwatch is doing. When they do release like new characters and new maps, um, you you can talk to anybody who's tried them out. They are top notch, premium. They they do their work. They do their homework. They get everything right in terms of balance and stuff like that. And um, it, they're they're you know Blizzard's known for continuing the support of their games for like years down the line. And I, I feel like this is probably this is probably an excuse category just to give Blizzard a, an award, in my opinion. That's probably right. I vote. Um, Overwatch will definitely uh, keep people's I, attention for a long time. So yeah, I say Overwatch is probably gonna win it. But even though I haven't played Warframe, it's a game that like I see pop up and I kind of follow it because like I did like the bit that I did play. I just never went back to it. But I've seen the amount of updates, and that game is completely different from when uh, it came out. It launched. And that game is completely free, and it's playable without actually buying any of the stuff. You can grind for it, but there's nothing that's stopping you from doing any missions or anything like that. So that game, like uh, Rainbow Six Siege, when that released, that kind of game was like dead. Lots of people were said it was dead on release because it got reviewed kind of media. Like it didn't do too well, but then they supported it, gave it updates. So that might. But I'm gonna say Overwatch is gonna go. Overwatch, indeed. Um, don't, don't let Mel see the next category. It's mobile games. <laughs> I hope oh, no. get that's her favorite. I don't know what happened to me. I used to hate mobile games. So oh. well, you're always on the go, and so it's convenient. <laughs> she she likes yeah. building a house now. Like that's her thing. Yeah, I'm designing a home, and it's only for iPhones. Ha. <laughs> He's want to hear a joke. <laughs> 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 All you right, what happened? He's want to hear a joke. Uh, is it about a vacuum? No. <laughs> but it's, it, you know, it's just Pokemon Go. <laughs> oh no! Yo, oh, okay, yeah. guys, guys, can we, we we need to make a pact right now on this show as a panel? Anytime Dean comes up and says, "You want to hear a joke?" We're gonna have to say no. <laughs> if he if if that is the way we're getting into Dean's joke, it's probably not the right way to do it. So we're just gonna have to tell him no. He's gonna have to just come spontaneously and and hit us with it, man. But no, 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 no more of that introduction like that. All right. Okay. The answer is no. Aww, you want to hear a joke? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Dean. <laughs> all right, wait. Before we go on, because my computer keeps freezing. All right, we're gonna do the uh, next uh, one month of game pass giveaway so this is going to be the second one all right so and the uh, question is how big was the lump in my neck (laughs) oh so jesus you cannot win this one uh because you already won a month um the first person to let me know which episode number uh hold on where we discussed i have to find one number uh, all right, so I'm going to read the title, and I want to know which episode it was. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Damn, a lot of these I don't put a number on a lot of them. I do. Uh, uh. <clears throat> I'm a piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> all right, so it's going to be the title is CCC or Coffee Casuals Consoles. So, <laughs> <laughs> Coffee Casuals Consoles episode, and then blank. Um, and it's we talk about Sims on Xbox, uh, Sims on 4. Xbox? What? Why did I write that? Sims on 4 Xbox. It's Sims 4 on Xbox, but um, <laughs> we talk about Sims 4 on Xbox and COD World War II Beta. That's the only stuff I'm going to give you in the title, but you have to tell me what episode number it was. 13. Right. Mel's been t- playing Stop Wolfenstein it. too much. Wolfenstein's German. Seven. I don't know. 
<clears throat> Guys, stop. Hold up. Hold up. Ooh, <laughs> There's Taylor. a jerk off in the chat. Ooh, Taylor, were you ready for this? He said 23 and it's episode 23. And then nice. he says, hey, Good job. Punk Kiddish, you're cheating yo, now. Yo, Punk Kiddish didn't even get to 23, though. <laughs> he was wrong. <laughs> wow. All right. So congratulations, Luke Taylor. That was super fast. Were you just, were you waiting? I need to know. <laughs> Luke Taylor, if you have Twitter, which I don't know, um, tweet me at girls can game two, two after the show, I will send you it. And if you don't let me know, and I'll send you my email. All right. So <laughs> I apologize for interrupting the show, but this was important. Congratulations, Luke Taylor. Episode 500. Wow. <laughs> One month game pass. I know we haven't even made it to a hundred, Dirty J. I don't. I mean, I would like. I would like to make it to five hundred, but I can't see me talking that much. All right, Luke Taylor, got it. I, I, uh, I will send you after guys. the show. What's it? I was just looking at the game awards thing. And like the only real one that I can see that is worth talking about now at this point is the most anticipated game for next year. All right. What do you what, think? Do you want to go down to the that? games? Okay. Well, the games that are most anticipated is Sony, Sony, Sony. Sony. I'd say Spider Man. Uh, the last one was Part Two. That's not coming Red out Dead, which next, is year. Not next year, which is ridiculous. But go ahead. <laughs> the last uh, Red Dead Redemption Two, okay. Monster okay. Hunter World, uh, Spider Man, and God of War. So all three of them are PlayStation. What what a surprise, Jeff Keeley! Way to keep it interesting. <laughs> Everything no, they showed on the at E3 and no the Sony stage, like all five of those, they showed at E3 on the Sony stage. <laughs> you know, it's funny. You're gonna walk around the the Game Awards, and it's gonna be gigantic PlayStation posters and banners, and people dressed up as uh, ponies, and there's gonna be a <laughs> thumbnail of Xbox in the corner yep. of the podium. <laughs> Yep. Well, like, well, I guys, find really guys, ridiculous. I just, want, I just want to take you back to E3, the, at the Xbox conference this past E3. I believe yes. they showed 42 games. 44, Which, actually, I think 40, it is. Between 42 and 44 games. We'll, we'll go like that, right? Right. That we're coming out from that E3 to next holiday, which is next year. So right. you need to tell me out of these 42 to 44 games – not one of them could be most anticipated in the I know, video it's, it's... And Last of Us 2 ain't even coming out for... That's like, put, no. why not put Halo 7 up there or something? That's stupid. Last of Us 2 is going to be a launch title for the PS5 and, and or what's going to wind up happening is it'll do like they did with the PS3 to the PS4. There's going to be a PS4 Pro version, and then they'll re-release an, uh, an upgraded 4K industrial size version for the PS5 when it launches. That's exactly what they're going to do. Yeah, like I have a feeling that E3, or if they do show another trailer for The Last of Us uh, this year, but at E3 they're going to show the gameplay, the reveal, gameplay reveal, and then it's going to have like a 29 at the end of the trailer. Like It's not coming out next year. I'd be really surprised. I'm not going to say it's impossible that it's going to come out next year. Like That'd be amazing for Sony if it did come out next year, but they haven't said or hinted at anything to make it seem like it's going to come out next year. What, if, if, you look at, if you look at how they show the games, right? If you look at how they show the games, The Last of Us Part uh, Part 2, they showed like that that quick CGI where she was playing the guitar, and then they showed this other this other part that they just showed, which you couldn't tell if that that wasn't gameplay. That was another like cutscene or something like that with, within the game. So there, there's been no show of the game. If you look at say Spider Man, right? Look at Spider Man and how much Sony and Insomniac have shown from that game gameplay yes. and all, all the way through an entire level basically shown. And we're still not sure if it's going to come out in 2018. So you mean to tell me Last of Us 2 would be guaranteed next year? Hell no. Good luck with that. It makes them them look good, though. Don't they have three games most anticipated? Even though they probably only have two of the three that are coming out next year. Why? I think, I, yeah, again, it's one of those more things. Popular than Monster Hunter World. I'm sorry. Yeah. Where's I, Anthem? I don't. I don't. I don't yes, know. Anthem, Anthem would have been up, would, not, would have been up there. Red Dead Redemption Two, I think, would have won it hands down because there is not a person, yeah. no matter what system you like, is not buying that game the first, the I'm literally not. the day it's coming out. I'm not. Where are we at, guys? I'm off. Most anticipated, most anticipated. game. Hmm. 
And the category is my, my grandmother so far, killed to say the least. my grandmother killed me with re- with westerns and cowboys and stuff like that. I just don't get into that whole scenario anymore. I don't, I don't even know. You'd ra- well, cowboys wear capes. Just saying. No, what no, is your no, obsession with No, cape? they they wear ponchos. <laughs> they wear ponchos. Cape. <laughs> no, I'm 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 making fun of Xbox because he <laughs> he really is into capes in Destiny. No, they're, not, they're not capes. They're ponchos. Yeah, you know, <laughs> cowboys wear ponchos. All right. No, but my grandmother, like, she, she used to run the TV. She used to live with, with me and my mom and all this stuff. And it was all, like, Rifleman and Bonanza and stuff like that, like, 24-7. And I grew to really absolutely hate Cowboys. <laughs> so, Wait, which one are we on? Cause most anticipated. I can't find that on the list. You guys already said mo- uh, mobile games. Well, it was Sony, Sony, Sony. Blah, blah, blah. Multiplat. <laughs> right, so whatever. I'm I, not finding it. I have a quick thing. I'm gonna go off yeah, subject. Hold, hold like, on, why, why the fuck do they have best sports slash racing <laughs> games? Why did they put those together? That's kind of stupid. Because okay. technically, sport. technically, racing is a sport. I mean, they have their own leagues and and stuff like that. I mean, um, it's it's a sport. <laughs> yeah. Now the thing is, when it comes to video games, though, I I really feel like racing should probably be in its own separate category, just for the fact that you know not everything is a racing simulation. Wow. Like for it's a motorsport because you do have, um, you know, like the the Need for Speed, which let's let's just be honest, that is a strictly arcade racer and, yep. and stuff like that. So, racing in terms of video games is, is such a broad stroke that I don't think they should narrow it in with sports. I think it should be its own category. Yeah, and I I, I want to second that simply because this is a big year for racers. I mean, besides Forza Seven and uh, Gran Turismo Sport. You also have again Need for Speed and, and Project Cars too, so you do have enough cate- enough games in that category to say, okay, you know who's the best. And obviously, I mean, come on, why even bother having a category? Just give them the award already, and that would be Forza Seven. That's like comparing apples to oranges. <laughs> what what is everybody blaming me for in the chat? I don't even know what's going on anymore. All I see is Daz. It's like it's Xbox's fault, and it's yeah. like they're dirty winning. Doubt, blame, that blame wasn't, bot. I'm oh, like, it, it was Daz. Haha, I was like, no, it was Alan, but it was totally Daz. Well, what did I do? Alan always blames you for everything. It's so funny. <laughs> like, he'll just, he'll, we'll just be DMing on um, Twitter, and then he'll say something, and then he'll be like, well, it's Xbox's fault. <laughs> oh, Sobsky, uh, that measurement? Thank you very much. You are, you are very kind. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. Uh, continue <laughs> on. <laughs> Let's not get distracted. I think that's it for the Game Awards, pretty much. Well, um, I was just going to say, since there's no Microsoft game on it, like, if there was to, like, swap The Last of Us out, like, what do you think? Like, Crackdown or Sea Thieves? How did I miss so much of these Game Awards, guys? I'd like what we were discussing. Uh, so- I, I said earlier uh, that none of the other teams... Dean, seemed- Dean fast forward through it all. Yeah, oh, I said, okay, beautiful. I asked, and you were all okay, I guess. But no, I yeah, didn't hear me. <laughs> I probably didn't hear you because my computer keeps freezing up. But uh, what I'd like to do is do our own little choice of uh, some Game Awards games for next week. And then we can go over that on the show next week and uh, see what the chat thinks about our like nominations. Pick, like, Good pick idea. the same categories, but we'll pick our own games for Yeah, 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 that would yeah. Be really awesome, cool. Man. That'd be I a lot like of that. fun. Yeah, that's so, a good, good good idea. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do next week. But uh, we have a lot of stuff to cover in a little Destiny bit too. of time. You know what, Xbox, just stop. <laughs> All right. So, um, I I don't know if you guys kind of dive dove into this. I don't say dived, um, but I would like to uh, talk about the death threats. Um, for what the hell is it? Uh, Star that Wars Battle. I already two, apologized. Right? All right, I'm tired of people getting on my back about this. I'm sorry too. I I think it just I don't know. No one should do that. It makes EA look like the victims, which yeah. no one should do that. But still, they're doing really shitty stuff. Well, right? the the developer that works for EA, uh, Sean, his uh, Twitter handle is Big Sean sixty six. Uh, posted on Twitter, quote: "So I'm up to seven death threats and over sixteen hundred individual personal attacks." Um, unquote and then it says keeping track oh that was not the end of the quote but anyways he said keeping track for legal reasons and why you might ask because of an unpopular feature in a game so he's saying it's an unpopular feature this really made people angry 
Um, but you know, it's it all is in conjunction with the microtransaction BS that's been going on. So uh, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on it. And I mean, obviously, death threats are never justified. Um, but what what else could be creating this? Is it the lack of uh, enough? you know, uh, story time and things like that. Cause I know boomstick's been playing it. He said it's way too short. Um, and then people are saying it's pay to win. Some people are saying it's not pay to win. And I believe that they reduced the cost of them, but can you guys kind of fill me in on this? Cause I haven't been paying too much attention other than seeing that the other day. And I was like, Hmm, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, they did reduce the cost, uh, for all heroes. Cause like they had specific characters like Luke Skywalker, Dark Vader, all the badass ones that you think would be unlocked automatically in the game. Considering the one that came up before it, like you didn't have to unlock certain characters. They were all, uh, unlocked. Uh, so they have, it took around, I think it was like 70 hours or something to unlock one character. If you were to grind the like to get enough coins or whatever the money is in the game to be able to pay for one of them. So if you wanted to get all the characters, you're going to have to put a lot of time into it just to unlock them. But then they reduced it. So it's not as bad now. But the game still is pay to win. Like, because when you get the star packs, you get like things that power up or give you a, like damage boost mm -hmm. or like reduce damage. So having things like that can really make a big difference. Yeah, like Bo Boba Fett, like he'll get no damage while he's in the air. Or something like that. Like, he'll, he'll yeah, one hundred percent damage resistance when Which flying. Mean, and, and people use him. He has he's at he has a jetpack. People yes. use him in the air like ninety nine percent of the time. So he's invincible ninety nine percent of the time. Yeah. Well, it sucks because they made. I think they made like a cool game and they added campaign and they did a lot of stuff people wanted. But then EA stuck their dirty little claws in it and <laughs> dirty little claw. Oh, oh, you said claws. <laughs> I was thinking something else. But go ahead. Whoa, Xbox. Whoa. I heard dirty no little I'm like, you Xbox. Go there? <laughs> I'm speechless. Big shout out to Noof out there. No <laughs> chills, Noof. Speechless. But I mean I do not I do not support death threats whatsoever. Like I no. said, it makes EA look like the victims and all that shit. Can I just say if anybody supported death threats you'd be a dick and yeah. you'd be no, no, that's good good for you to say that because you know what I, i'm sorry listen i understand Th there are certain ways i understand video games is it, it, you know it's a passionate uh esport it's a passionate hobby um it's not that serious no i no certainly not that serious at all i i, I understand uh you know people being you know uh, you know overhyped over a game or underhyped or whatever but to actually go out of your way to threaten someone's life because of DLC. Look, perfect example, CBL, what are you going to do? I'm not you're not buying it, right? You're going to wait for it to show no. up in the vault. Okay, so that's yeah. that that is the way a normal, you know, thinking person will handle it. Okay, you know, no I, I, I don't know. But I'm pretty crazy, so <laughs> <laughs> But Especially I mean important. no no one is no no one is going out of their way to threaten someone's life over the fact that Darth Vader is 60,000 credits. I mean, it, 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 in itself, that's ridiculous. So I don't agree with that. But if, if you're a gamer that is on a budget and you also are a gamer who is, uh, you know, worried about the, the industry it, in itself changing to being a pay to win or a loot box based, uh, you know, uh, world, don't support these titles and how do you do that is you just don't buy the games you know i think uh, it's i think it's just yeah. troll like a couple fucking dumbass trolls doing it but like the majority of gamers are pissed off and they've kind of drawn a line in the sand about this and complain because it, it, their, their, their complaints are not falling on deaf ears what 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 did ea wind up doing they reduced the prices and darth Vader went from 60,000 credits to 15 um, you know, I know there are a lot of Wait, how much did these credits cost? I don't know the actual pricing per se, but if you wanted Vader, he was originally 60,000 in game credits that you could earn. You and, could earn them? Yeah, you can earn those. You could literally just play the game and I earn don't, them. I, I don't oh. know if you all noticed, but when they have the characters of the heroes, that's not all they did. They also have your reward that you get for each match. So even though the characters are cheaper, you also get less for completing the match now. 
what, huh. what's the what's the average uh reward because i know i know it, it, it will fluctuate but but i think it's um, like two three hundred game or something like i can't remember unless you get a big match bonus at the end but whatever it is now uh it used to be higher before they made the characters uh you know they to balance it out you get less now but the characters are cheaper so about four so, four or five matches for for a thousand um eh, i mean I already have enough to unlock uh, one of the characters, and I only played like three hours or less. Like, I still have a good few hours left in my trial, and I can unlock Luke Skywalker if I want. I just haven't done it yet. But the whole like multiplayer part is like built around a broken progression loot box system, and it, it's horrible. It sucks. Yeah, it, it is bad because if your progression, instead of like, for instance, if you're going to tell me that. You see, see. spent twenty dollars, and you have unlocked more guns than me because it's based on loot boxes. And I grinded for thirty hours, and I don't have the same guns. That's a big problem. There's well, no look at look at Shady. That. Look at Shady in the chat. He said, "I got thirteen thousand credits playing for an hour and a half last night." Okay, and basically, great. Basically, fuck these drama internet queens. And I think we. I don't. I don't. I haven't played the game. But something happens when it comes to social media, especially within um, the gaming community. Once something is is kind of vilified or, or put off as we negative, the water. yeah, and all of a sudden there's just a huge flood of negativity at points in time where it doesn't even need to be. So if 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 like Shady is playing for an hour and a half and getting thirteen thousand <laughs> credits and and everything's good on that front like that, I don't I don't have a problem with that because. Um, you guys know me. I love Halo Five, right? Yes. Halo Five, and um, with Warzone, you know, you're able to get uh, in your rec packs. You're able to get weapons that that were were better, that did something better for Warzone. It didn't do it for Arena, but it did it for Warzone, right? But um, I, I would go in and I would play and I would grind and I would earn rec points and stuff like that. I, I ended up getting everything in that game without purchasing, and I was always competitive in war zone whether i had like the latest grenade launcher or rocket right launcher back. or something like that or or not i was always competitive all right and as long as you can stay competitive even with people who are buying weapons and stuff like that then it's not yeah, it's not a big, big deal I, I absolutely agree and a perfect example of what you're talking about is four to seven still to this day you can't spend a single dollar right yeah and yet that is all anyone talked about all oh, uh, uh, loot boxes and it's ruined the game is ruined to this day you still can't spend a dollar this, this is totally different like this is so way worse like you could get people spending a hundred dollars on these packs like just op and everyone and ruining the entire fucking game and the game's already broken like it's so yeah like what's super and, like, like like if you don't like say something about this now which people aren't speaking up about it and i'm glad they are then it's just gonna keep getting worse and worse and worse, and it sucks that microtransactions and shit are a billion dollar industry. You know, but. Here, and here's the deal: like we got so so shady in the chat, um, saying the misinformation regarding Star Wars is on a whole new level. Plus, we have Tony agreeing with him. Now, these are two people in They're the gaming in community the I, yeah. that I respect their opinions. It seems that whatever they do put in the chat, they they, they seem to be spot on. I'm like 99% of everything. So this is making me look at this and say, how much of this is, is like factually a bad thing? And how much of it is just the fact that we have vilified loot boxes to the extent that no matter what, these loot boxes are going to be looked at as negative. Even well, if you can stay competitive in the multiplayer and stuff like that and grind and get what you want for the game, like we already vilified them. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take your question to task. And what I'm going to do is from now to next CCC, I'm going to play not exclusively, but I'm going to put a significant amount of, of time into the game without spending a dime and we and i will come back with an answer on how bad this situation really that's, is that's a that's a that's a great idea uh, if, I, if I if i had the game, game i would do though. it what's up oh snaps i said but you're gonna play call of duty with me though <laughs> yeah, i'll stick like some call of duty in there now don't worry i, I haven't forgotten you watching you <laughs> yep, i'm trying to have, help the show you just have <laughs> to actually falling from the sky on that. Yo, that's, and, that's so bad see, oh, 
the Don brings up something great as well. Remember when Destiny 2 was the devil for having shaders you can buy? Yeah. And, and, like, I could go into my game right now, and I could look at my inventory, and you Thousands. should see how many shaders Thousands I have. Thousands of them, dude. But that's shaders. That's not game progression. Destiny but is that, the but devil. See, but see, that's the thing. It, it's, it's one and of those things that, that opened that up. Area. That's one of the things that opened up the gates, though. And like I said, once... Once something gets vilified in, in, in a community, especially in social media, even stuff that can actually be worked around, you know, will will be looked at as absolutely horrible all the oh, time. Yeah. Unless, unless it's like an Xbox exec that says, it's okay. <laughs> then people are like, oh, you know what? It's perfect. Just <laughs> fucking did. They just tweet, it's okay Star Wars has loot box. We, yeah, it's we a- like so it's you, okay, you EA and Activision, just keep milking us for fucking everything. Neil Mental said, don't everybody. trust Boom. He's still <laughs> waiting for him for trials. Oh, God. You know what, Boom? That is my brother talking. I will, folks. I will have to keep you on the sidelines from the next show. I'll keep you muted if you don't play with me. Ha. Ha. Okay. You, you've strong-armed me into playing. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else you guys want to add about this? No, I, I think just want we... I I just haven't said, but I agree with what everyone else said. I just haven't said it yet. That anyone that sends their threats to anyone about anything, like especially over games, movies, or any sort of entertainment, like it's just crazy. Like just ha- make sure you think before you actually just rage out and do something stupid like that, because it's not good for yourself. It's not good for anyone, and it just makes you look like a dick because you are being a dick. Absolutely, and that, and and you can get arrested for that. Whether yeah, it's exactly really aggravated harassment because it's over an electronic device. I, I know, you know, just FYI, hmm. over a game. Like I, I can understand people can be mad about something, but come on, like how ridiculous can you get? Um, so, anyways, we're gonna move on from that. Uh, you guys have some great opinions, and we are running uh, low on time, but we're gonna keep going today. You know why? Because I'm on vacation. Nice. <laughs> um, I want to talk about the Xbox avatars being delayed until 2018. Mother- oh I'm my sorry. God. Wait, that's the second time you scared me during this show, Xbox. <laughs> 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 At this ro- I'm happy he- they delayed her. All right, well, hold on. So it what? initially <laughs> was supposed to go out um, in fall of 2017. Now they're saying hopefully early 2018. That was Phil Spencer. He said hopefully. <laughs> early 2018 so i'm thinking we could see them in like the summer you know they're just trying to perfect them make them even better um why are you hoping they've had like four years why are you happy that they're delaying it it's just the fucking dashboard and they have enough problems if they bring if they put the avatars on it now we're gonna be waiting a long time until like certain things get ironed out so They need to just take the time, get the dashboard into the state that they need to be. They need to make sure everything's working. I've seen lots of people either on the X having issues. I don't know if it's just the X issue or the dashboard, but I still have issues. Other people have issues with the dashboard. It's not 100% perfect. Uh, it's still new, and they're more likely going to bring out a big update for people soon uh, just to fix a few of the bugs and stuff. But if they added avatars this year, like, I wouldn't think they're ready for it, and especially doing it before Christmas, it's a bad idea to bring a big update out. And they said before that they don't like bringing out updates in December because Christmas break and stuff like that, they're gonna, they won't be able mm-hmm. to fix things. Okay. Well, they should have thought about that before. Oh, <laughs> my God. Expo is really, like, butthurt about well, this. Here's the thing. This is what <laughs> – and, and yo, guys, I, I deal with Microsoft, all right? I, I've had a Windows phone. I had a Zoom HD – uh xbox xbox 360 xbox one xbox one x all right i deal with them in terms of devices the computer you know we have windows um on our pcs and stuff and here's the thing they always promise so much and they're like yeah get ready man we're gonna release it all by the end of this year and there's always like two or three things that they're always like well no we got we're gonna have to delay that guys we're gonna have to delay that until like next year we're, we're sorry we'll stop like over over biting like taking out so much saying these fe- features are going to be ready and then disappointing people with those two or three that you're leaving off until next year i think that is that is one of the problems with them in terms of the consumer base and how people look at microsoft they're always promising features 
And then they're always delaying like like a third of them until it's later on. It's kind of like E3 where they say, hey, this is going to happen, and then it doesn't happen. <clears throat> Crackdown 3. Um, <laughs> don't give us a date or a season or something. Just say it will be coming. Um, you know, if you want to say next year, if you think it's going to be delayed. Like, if you say fall, just go to the next year. Say early 2018. Surprise us with an early release, if anything. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, but they try they try to leave that marker and they then they have like everybody within their divisions working their ass off to try to like hit that mark. And of course, a couple of them aren't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and I think that they felt that the avatars could be delayed cuz I feel like what's going to happen is next year at next year's E3, they are going to announce uh mixed reality, augmented reality and VR. For the xbox one x and mm -hmm. the avatars are going to be front and center because that that room that they talked about where your avatars can come in and mingle and all that good stuff i think that's going to be a virtual reality as well mm -hmm. all right so i think they feel like they have like they can push this back because in all actuality it's going to be the center to one of their vr kind of like features yeah but it's but it's still bullshit to the consumer who has been waiting for these to come down the line and they're like um, consumer like, consumer yes yeah, yeah, that's a free feature that's they bought alt space actually to put those avatars in it like you said a social space and that's alt space is like a huge vr social space okay so yeah uh, well the consumer people who invested in their hardware and, and are getting excited about the features because wasn't it like it was like what maybe two weeks ago less than two weeks ago uh they came out and was like oh don't worry you know game gifting and avatars will be out by by the end of this year <clears throat> before the end well, of this year we've got game gifting but we're gonna get into that in a little bit um but i want to hear more opinions on this whole uh Avatar. <laughs> Gen I'm sorry. Gender I, fluidity I, options. <laughs> I, I don't you know want what? you to rant yourself to death, Xbox. I would have been happy if they would have just moved the 360 dashboard to the Xbox One dashboard and we still had our avatars, even though these look better and just improved it. They don't look better. They're the same. They're just in higher resolution, dude. Yeah. I mean, I, that's one thing I loved about 360 was the avatars and being able to use your avatars in games and it's been like four years since we haven't been able to do these new ones these new ones that they have been showing are amazing right sure. but like i like i like i said i feel like they feel like they can kind of push this um until next year because they're thinking vr focused when it comes to the social space and oh won't this be great to announce this and all this good stuff when they're not like they're not really announcing vr until like next oh my year. god just imagine they did that with VR and they brought back one versus one hundred in VR. Like oh, you that could would play be it amazing. normally, that was fun. Yeah. or you could, you could play it in VR. That'd be so badass. And you could really uh, win Xbox gift cards. And and so. Xbox knows that people did like the one one, one versus one hundred. That was a uh, that oh, was yeah. very popular. It was short lived though. It was. It was short lived, but maybe they'll you know uh, they've heard the cry of the people and they'll bring it back. I'm, I used I'm to look saying, forward to each episode. <laughs> Awesome. I'm just saying, being a being a Microsoft like consumer, you know what I'm saying. Throughout the years, all right, I, I've dealt with this time and time and time again. Uh, even when it came to came to Windows 10, in in, in terms of making features uh, available for preview and then making it available for public on the PC, there was always a couple things that were constantly left out when they were talking about, oh, it's going to be in the next one. They do that to to a lot of people. All right, they do that a lot when it comes to updating the 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 OSs and, and stuff like that. New features coming down the line. There's always like two or three that are always pushed back constantly. And I think they they kind of they 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 spout off at the mouth way too soon. You know what I'm saying? They say well, we're also working on avatars and stuff. Here's what they look like, and hopefully they'll be ready in in such and such a time. But like they're like no, they're coming by the end of 20. Uh, the end of 2017 and stuff like that and, and it's not going to happen now i mean so. um how much time do you guys spend thinking about these avatars like i know i used to play stuff here and there with them and dress them up but that's it it wasn't uh -huh. like a core reason to why i was on xbox so i'm really not mad about it like i think it's it's a good idea to hold it off if if it's going to bring a new feature like um the either the vr or ar space or something like that like if you think about it, it's it's not a bad thing. 
I know Xbox is pissed off for no reason. My, my avatar, my avatar is stocked. You know, like I got so much avatars. I do too, and I bought a lot of stuff. Like literally paid for. Okay, but it's not the end of the world. You know, you're gonna be sitting there in Destiny, and then after you create your character, you're gonna make them look like your Destiny character. Then you're gonna go play Destiny. It's gonna be a, a done deal. That's I it. There used to be so many. I, cool I need a new cape. Hold on. I used to play Full House Poker with my avatar like all the time. I miss that so much. Yeah. I mean, That's if they wild. delayed it, they delayed it not just to piss people off, but because it wasn't right. And I'd rather them delay it than release a broken product. That's true, but I don't think they delayed it to piss people off. No, no, no certainly not. I, I, yeah, not at all. I, I, that's what I said. I, I don't they think knew. that they did. Oh, they, knew. Said they delayed it. To they people. knew two weeks ago. They knew two weeks ago if they were having issues or not. All right, and and yeah, they you still, know what though? It, it, they yeah, still but came the, out and said game gifting gosh. and new avatars. By the end of this year, you know, right? that, that, but you know what, what they they with. they had to say that because you're talking about you know, they're on, they were at that point on the cusp of launching the uh, Xbox One X, and I, I don't think they needed any negative. Uh, I, I, I will uh, never I will never agree to um, manipulating the crowd like that. I will mm-hmm. never say that they need to do this and that was the right move. Maybe I am they a, didn't though. Maybe I am something a gamer, happened. I, I am a gamer and a consumer first. I don't give a shit about your marketing with your new hardware and stuff. You tell it like it is. Well, well I, think I, I, I think that their overall, uh, you know, investors think uh, care more about uh, the negative sales. And I don't know if uh, delaying the avatars would have would have hurt sales. But again, on the cusp of a gigantic launch like the X. You did not need any negative press. They were already getting it from the, you know, from the gaming media, so they didn't, mm. they didn't need any negative press. Well, that's just oh. like saying because uh, I have a YouTube channel, and, and I'm promising something or whatever, even though I know, like, I'm promising a new series, even though I know it's, it's not going to get done, but I'm, I'm promising it because I have a lot of haters out there on my YouTube channel that talk shit about me and stuff like that, and I just can't deal with the bad press. Like, no, I'm not going to do it like that, and neither should they. Mm. Simple as that. Preach. Xbox. Xbox. <laughs> Some tampons in the bathroom. It, it's it's okay because I'm, I'm I'm going to the dentist tomorrow. I'm not going to be. I'm probably not going to be able to talk. So I'm getting it all out now. Oh my right? god. He's mad as hell, and he's not going to take he it anymore. He is mad. Like every time you could, or even when we're not on the show, if you say something about it, he's like raw, and I'm like, oh, don't hate me. I didn't do anything. Um, so. <laughs> Yeah, Xba, it, it's not the end of the world. Is there anything else you guys want to add about this? Uh, I just wanted to say, like, even though I said I'm happy they did later, I am someone that was thinking about when when are they gonna get added, like frequently, especially when because I'm in the preview program, like some of you are in the alpha ring. I'm like, when are we gonna get it early? We should have it by now <laughs> and stuff like that. And I really like the avatars, but I am happy because I know that. The dashboard just isn't ready for it. Yeah, but that's I am, very true. I am excited for when they do come, especially if they're polishing it up and making sure it's going to release, hopefully, without any big issues or issues at all. Uh, yeah, I just hope they do a good uh, job implementing the da- avatars onto the dashboard and actually making use of them. Because if they just bring it out and then they're hidden in the background like they are now, it's kind of pointless. You are late. You're welcome. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness but yeah i was listening to cbl but then i was in the chat and then i i got lost i heard you cbl don't worry i was oh, okay. listening i heard him talking <laughs> skull stopper said mel is x bot on his period i heard someone say someone was getting tampons or something in the i bathroom. know x bot that there was tampons in the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> all right so anyways uh, we're going to move on from the Xbox avatars. We'll get it when it's ready, and it's not going to kill you because you have plenty of other things to play while you're waiting for your avatars, guys. So, that being That's said... It. I am not playing Call of Duty until I get my new avatars. Okay, well, too bad. Um, then you're not playing um, Destiny 2 either because I'll just what? cut you the can't, internet. You can't, what? What? <laughs> All right. So uh, just like the um, Xbox avatars were announced, Game Pass was also, um, not Game Pass, um, the freaking gifting was also announced. <laughs> now we got the gifting. All right. So the gifting is going great so far. Nobody has gifted me anything. I have a lot of games, guys, um, but I don't have some. So if you want to give me anything, I, I think so. my gamer tab 
tag is oh snap suckers i'm not sure about that but um anyways the gifting has been going great until they have a region lock on and people are really pissed about this um i know jez he was uh tweeting about this yesterday and I forget his exact words, but he was not happy because there is region lock and some people cannot receive or get the games. And people are like, oh, that's okay. Just go change your region on Xbox. Um, you shouldn't have Xbox to do that. I, I exactly. Agree. Well, games are like not. different prices in different regions. So it kind of <laughs> makes sense, doesn't it? So Shady said change Xbox. You know, I, saw, I saw Shady. I just gave you props like five minutes ago. <laughs> and you're going to talk shit. Like literally. He's taking them back. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Anyways. Sorry. Go ahead. I was just saying, like, games are different prices in different regions, so, like, doesn't that kind of make sense in a mm -hmm. way? Yeah, that that does make sense. Um, they didn't say there was a region lock, though. Yeah, I know. Actually, I think they originally did. Uh, it, it was in the notes that it was going to be region locked. Now, I'm almost positive this is not the first time I'm hearing it. Is it in the tiny print? It, it, no it, 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 might, it might be, but you know what? I... I, I, I Microsoft is such a big company, and game gifting is such a big deal. You would think that they would have had this ironed out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, should, does it really matter if a game is a dollar more in Ireland than it is in the United States? And that, you know, just change well, the price for the is, person is that's it, giving the game. Are the games all like, um, uh, like, uh, a game over here, I know it'd be different with taxes and stuff like that. It is is it, maybe that's why the region locked different taxes because in, in like in reality, games should be just about the same price, just that currency uh is different. Yeah, the you know exchange rate obviously is the exchange yeah, rate. Thank different. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So like unless it's it's a tax thing, and um I I mean that kind of that kind of sucks. You'd figure that they would have something like that figured out before before it came out, but but no, no, they're gonna hold back avatars and put in game gifting, but they're just gonna keep it region locked. I'm I'm saying. I just yeah, like, like, a, like go ahead. I don't see why it would be region locked when you're gifting it. It's not like it's not. It's just stupid. If there's no shipping involved. There's nothing. Like, just convert it over. You guys brought up game gifting. There should be no reason why it's region locked. This is like me saying, well, hey, I'm going to buy this on Xbox, right? Um, I just looked it card. up. It's not region locked, I don't think, from what I've seen. No, from it what is. I see here, it says codes generated through the game. Oh, is it code? Codes generated through the code gifting system are locked. Like if you're gifting a code or is it if you buy no, a game? No, it's the game in general. Here, I'm going to put the article well, in the chat for anybody to read that Jez did. Um, it's a really interesting article. There are, being there, are country, there are countries out there that um, games are a lot more money. Even if you look at the exchange rate and stuff like the taxes are, are crazy and stuff like that. And I guess um, the region lock thing is to stop people from like, say, say somebody from one of those <laughs> countries has a friend in the United States. And it's like, man, yeah, I'll send you over this money. Like, uh, I, I just want to pay the $60 for the game. I don't want to pay like the $80 that I have to pay in my country for it. And I think that's, that's, they're trying to make sure stuff like that doesn't happen per se. I think it's stupid. They but some games are, some games are ra rated different too in other countries as well. Yeah, that is true. Um, I'm reading. Well, what I'm they should do, here, here's, here's right. a simple solution. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But here's the simple solution is when you go to gift the game, uh, have you type in the um the gamer tag, and wherever that gamer tag's region is, that that is the amount of money you have to pay for the game. That's uh, a good idea. If it's anyone wants to try it, they can send me a gift. I'll take the shot, I guess. <laughs> You'll take one for the team. Somebody, somebody get Dean Soda Drinker Pro. <laughs> nice, thousand achievements. Now I wonder, well, you know, if it would be um. Easier to do if you go to xbox.com. But um, I was reading because uh, in Jez's article on Windows Central, it says the system doesn't prevent you from gifting games outside of your region. Um, it says there's a tiny warning message that evidently from the amount of Twitter DMs I've been getting about this, few people are seeing. Um, hold up. It says your gift will be sent as a digital code that your recipient can redeem at the Microsoft Store, blah, blah. 
uh, recipient must meet any age rating requirements, um, but that's not the tiny uh, little words, uh, but it, I don't know if that was a mistake. It says it doesn't prevent you from gifting games. Outside I, your you, can always, you can always go in your settings under region and have the person change it. Probably. Yes, you can, <laughs> but what is the point of that? You know, like it's, it's kind of, I mean, yeah, I would be happy to do that. If I'm getting a game, someone's gifting me a game, sure, I'm going to go change my region. Like, heck yeah, it's only going to take me a few minutes. It's not the end of the world, guys. And still, like, on, if you go to CD keys, like, they'll tell you region lock or worldwide. So Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's going to be region locked uh, everywhere right now. You know, what? It, what is the reason? Maybe because the, the fees, taxes, um, anything like that. Uh, like, who is sitting in the chat? I don't even remember right now because I'm staring at this article. Um, Mikey Barra, Scooby-Doo. Um, Scooby-Doo. <laughs> We do, we do. I can't find it. Mikey Barr, I said it was region locked. Um, so, for example, if one of you were to send me a game or something like that, would it go true or would it just tell you straight off that it, you can't do it? Yeah, I believe it will be like, nip, sorry. <laughs> sorry, UK. <laughs> well, none of that. I'll have none of that. Switch region. Just... All right, so um, in the article it says, if indeed it is legal, it is a legal issue preventing region free gifting, um, since it's so easy to switch re region to redeem the keys, why not just make it region free anyway? Because you can. Um, small conversion fees, stuff like that. Um, anyways, I don't, I mean, I feel like this is just wrong. Um, but transparency, they need, to, they need to tell us what the fuck's going on. <laughs> this is something that they should have said out loud. Like, hey, guys, we have game gifting. But it's going to be region locked. You can only gift within your region. Like, it would make sense to do that. Obviously, that's the negative um, feedback that they could have gotten right before a massive launch, right? Um, boomstick? It's yes, bad well, news. No, you know, I, 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 I agree, but again, is that a marketing issue? You know what I'm saying? Is, is, is that something that, again, we talked early in the show about, about you know, the GameStop shenanigans. Mm -hmm. is, this an, is this another hiccup in what's going on within marketing, you know, in the company? I, I honestly couldn't say for sure, but if I had to guess, I would say that that someone dropped the ball uh, and and they're not being as transparent as we would like them to be when it comes to the gifting because the gifting is a is a great thing it is a it is a positive thing it is it is a something that we've all wanted on the platform to be able to say okay listen you know i'm going to gift this one i don't have to send you money or send you a code and you can literally just come to home to a surprise check your note you know your your message on live and oh you know boomstick gave you this game and that's that's great but yeah. you're you're 100 percent right. Maybe they should have gotten in front of this and right from the jump start and said, "Hey, guys, you know we're we're doing you know game gifting. We know it's a feature you wanted, <laughs> but we you're 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 reduced to game gift in your region. I, I don't know. Yeah, like like on project by project spark contest, like I'll go and get uh, Xbox uh, currency and then. Like two out of the three people that win, like I can't gift it. To, I can't give. Like I'll even give them the code and stuff, and they can't use it, and it sucks. I'm gonna cut yeah. you guys off really quick. In the chat, Abacab says, "Why didn't people who were in the preview program say something about this when it was being tested out? They're as much to blame about this." Um, there's I didn't have money more. to gift games. All right, man. <laughs> yeah, I agree. That is a very good point, though, because not one person said anything about it. Did anybody even gift anything at that point? I don't I, know. I don't know. Listen, I could, all I could say is that if, if first of all, uh, shout out to Jez Corden. The guy is uh, he's a true professional, and he does not get on his high horse if he doesn't believe in a particular subject or situation that 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 he has passion for. I mean, he does write a lot of good articles, and if he's bringing it up, it's a problem. He's he's not doing it to to crap on Microsoft or to be the bad guy. He's being, hold on a sec, folks, hold on to your your, your chairs. A real journalist, which dun, is something dun. that has definitely been absent from the media the last eighteen months to twenty four months, to give or take. What's a real journalist? Well, you see, Jez would be considered a real journalist. Uh, the guy does write good articles, and if he's pissed 
that's because he's passionate about the situation and that he wants change. And hopefully, because he's very smart in his writing, someone from Microsoft will take a look at this and say, okay, maybe we need to you know, open this up a little bit. Maybe we need to figure out a way that someone in America can, you know, send someone something, uh, you know, a code in Ireland or vice versa or wherever. Well, I mean, yes, he is very professional, but I expect, what are you talking about? Huh? You texted me, but he did say, he did say that, um, he did say something that was uh, a little bit negative at first. And then he said, you know what? Uh, I don't know if he removed it. Um, I think it was like something along the lines of deceiving or something like that. Or, uh, you know, basically saying that they were liars. Uh, but he did uh, probably take it back and wrote an article after his frustrations. Um, and that's that's the best part of it. For you to say, you know what, um, let me just express myself in my opinion the proper way. And he does say how disappointing it is in the article, but he's not bashing. He's not being... A jerk or anything like that so that's really great um but that's the way you're going to be heard with microsoft and again Absolutely. he he knows a lot of these executives personally so you know again you know maybe they'll read his article and be like hey you know what he this guy's got a point because i don't know if anyone from the community and this is the first time it's been brought up on a podcast uh since it was launched i haven't really heard anyone complaining about it so if you don't complain you know the squeaky wheel won't get the oil Exactly, but the thing is, if you're like a child and you have a tantrum, you're not going to get what you want. No, that you're that's not. also true. I mean, again, there's there's the professional way to do it, and I, mm -hmm. I I I still, you know, I hold him to a high standard, and I, I I think that the article, even though it's not, you know, a bashing, I don't I don't think that's the way to get across your point by going full on negative. I I think going out there and saying that okay, we appreciate the game gifting and it is a feature that we've all talked about and wanted so thank you for that but you know there's 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 some hiccups that need to be addressed and and i think microsoft it will will we'll be talking about this a couple of weeks from now and you know they'll, they'll have take, something sorted out yeah they'll have they'll take a proactive approach and again just to bring up an issue you know a lot of people have had issues with their blu-ray players on the xbox one Right, and what is ha what happens? Mike Yabara gets out, gets out in front of this, and says, "Yes, we're aware of it, and the fix is coming in a few days." Mm -hmm. So they are listening, and if enough people complain, or write articles, or talk about it on podcasts, or tweet it, and you know, they'll they'll figure out a way to 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 fix it if they can. Oh, indeed, indeed, they will. So, I mean, I don't think we really have too much to worry about. I do know that they are gonna. Um, work on this um my whole chat is like flowing super fast i guess it must have froze a while back <laughs> <laughs> like i saw j dubs in the chat and then i don't know what happened it like just refreshed and it's going down the whole thing so weird um uh you guys want to add something i don't i don't know where who we have gotten to as i have one last thing to say okay go ahead well, the real feel shady please stand to bring that back Damn. <laughs> Feels That's shady. pretty shady of them, right? <laughs> chicka chicka chow. I mean, I feel like they they were very um hush hush about the region lock and they should have taken care of that. Uh they should have been upfront about it. That's that's just yeah, the bottom like... line. You be upfront about something, people won't be pissed off. You don't be upfront about it. They get pissed off. People have their torches and their pitchforks, and mm -hmm. it's all downhill from there. Now, does that does that deter you from using your Xbox One X or your Xbox One S or anything? No. Yeah, you might be mad because they said you can give games to friends. That's great. You know what I would like to do? Give games to my friends. But right now we can't, and it's something that they're working on. Um, and then they're just going to make it better, guys. At the end of the day, that's what they're going to do. They put stuff out there, we give feedback, and then they work on it. And I think at the end of the day, it's going to be great. I think this will be so <laughs> um if they commented on. Like, even if they say it's going to take some time, but at least if they said, we are aware that people don't like the fact that it's region locked for gifting and stuff like that, and it affects giveaways and other things like that. Just as an extra workaround, we'll have to change your region. But we're working on it to make it so it works everywhere. You know like what I think? I'm sorry for cutting you off. You know what I think sucks about game gifting? 
this is my biggest flaw of it is the fact that you can't gift old games that you you don't want. Like I would like to gift games that I have that I don't want, like Titanfall Two or something. That would be awesome. That's an awesome idea. Yeah. Regifting. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Regifting games, like that would be that would be so awesome because I'll buy a game, you know, and uh, Xbox will play it, and then he'll forget about it, and then I'll never play it, or I will play it, and. You know, we have so many games that we don't use. I don't need 284 games that I have. So I'd rather give my, oh, excuse me, re-gift my games to people and get rid of them if I'm never going to use them again because I know people who would love to have those. So, no, I just have wasted money. Mm-hmm. All right. Anything else, guys? I'm sorry. Uh, I, um, if anyone wants to test this out, game gifting my gamer tag is danny boy 3600 so i will take full responsibility of the gifting I'm situation like, you're and probably already from it. his region but i'm from <laughs> ireland no one else on the panel's from ireland so my <laughs> gamer tag is <laughs> all right uh abacab says that's not gifting mel that's trading those are two different things uh but if you're not trading for something you're not getting anything return oh I don't know. But yeah, I can see your point. But okay, so we'll call it regifting. I buy something and then I give it to someone else. Well, Xbox came up with it, but whatever. And nobody else lives in Ireland, so I guess you guys can't send no. anything to CDL. <laughs> you said nobody lives in, nobody else lives in Ireland. It's just Dean. But he I live on a field there. there. <laughs> I do have a question. Like, can you give someone like a EA access pass like the code and it work in a different region? I'm just curious. That's a good question. Thank that you. would be a dope gift. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, we do have to get going, though. I'm sorry. We didn't actually get, you know, through everything I wanted to talk about today. Um, you know, but I, it's already 1 o'clock in the afternoon here for us. Um, and I do have some stuff to do. So we do have to kind of move it along. I know, uh, Boomstick, you wanted to talk about Super Lucky's Tale because, um, you know, you're obsessed with that game. So let's uh, dive into that real quick. Um, let us know if you think it's worth the price and stuff like that for anybody who's on the fence about this game, because I know I am. So can you tell us how Super Lucky's Tale is, if it's worth the price, and how much the cost is? I mean, it's th- it's a thirty dollars game. It's obviously it was originally launched as a free game for the uh, Oculus Rift when it launched, um, and they made it into a full fledged. Um, title for the xbox one it uh, came out on november 7th along with the x even though it's not considered a you know a launch exclusive you know like mm. it would be like a new system but if you are like me and you got a little you know some out you know some time under your belt and you grew up on platformers with the marios and the crash bandicoots and and uh you know banjo kazooies you would appreciate this game uh, it's not going to win any Game of the Year awards, and that's completely understandable. But if you have, if you like platformers, this is a solid platformer. And if you have kids and you want to get something to be able to sit down and play with them, this is also a fun title. Mm-hmm. Um, I put a, a significant amount of time into it. I, I really enjoyed it from start to finish. I mean, the boss was the end boss was vicious. I mean, it, I died two hundred times. Um, you but it, real. Yeah, he was very difficult, but it was it was a fun game. Um, it's uh, I got a thousand out of a thousand achievement on it, um, and I nice. and I think it's worthy of a se- uh, of a sequel. I, I really do. And uh, they could open it up to having a co op multiplayer, uh, you know, couch multiplayer with this, and it would be uh, even more fantastic. So if you're interested. Um, I don't think there's a demo out, but you can certainly see plenty of videos. And uh, on my channel, which I launched a couple of weeks ago, I'm going to be doing my first review, and that's going to be the first game I review. So that's going to be going up by the end of the week. Well, I definitely look forward to seeing your review. And uh, shout out to Lady Foxfire. She's in the chat. And as soon as you say Super Lucky's Tale, she's like right there putting a bunch of foxes in mm-hmm. the chat. I know so she's a big fan. I wasn't too... Um, I wasn't really yeah, too interested in the game. Why? And then <laughs> Fox was talking about it on uh, Twitter, and then she was posting cute pictures. And then I was like, you know what? I kind of want this game. It's kind of cute. And I, I know that, you know, from so many people saying that they enjoy it, that really makes me want to try it out. Lucky Lucky's mm. adorable. I won I won that game like two days ago. I'm, oh, awesome. 
You know what? You're always winning games. <laughs> hey, uh, I played this game on uh, Oculus Rift in VR and on the Xbox version. And I mean, they're t two totally different experiences, but they have added so much to the Xbox version. And I definitely, for $30, like, it's definitely a good price. And I mean, my deal is, like, I very pissed off about the Ryan McCaffrey review about it. Like, everything, pretty much everything he said about the game is inaccurate. So, I don't know. I'm just pissed off about that. It, it is definitely not a 5. If I could rate it, I would rate it, like, 7.5 or something like that. But I definitely think it's a cute game. It's very, it's challenging, and it is, like, old-school platformers, and it's fun. I, I've had fun playing it. Awesome. From what I've seen so far, it looks like it's it looks like it's definitely intended for children. It looks over over simplified, and we are it might all be a platform next spot. It might be a platformer, but it, it's, no, I I, I got to stop you there, dude. Don't be I, fooled by what you see because there are some serious it, yeah, there, there's some yeah. serious challenges. I mean, then nothing is gonna you know you're gonna break your controller, but. Uh, you know, there are some, you know, some some parts I, that I would love. I would love to do a review of this game. It's no. just that I am not confident enough to spend thirty dollars on this game. Xbox I is think, trying to mooch this game already. I think it is. I think it is a very oversimplified. To me, what I've seen, it's it's a simplified platformer. It's intended for children. It is what it is. And and you know, when it comes to like games there needs to be a wide range of games out for the platform that yes. i totally agree with yes time out i have no hold on hold on what i'm saying is when when people are are are, are relating to the, the banjo kazooie to mario and, and stuff like that it's like guys guys don't overhype this game all right just because you know, we have we do have a light year in terms of exclusives for the Xbox platform. All right, don't overhype it. Let it be what it naturally is. And if it is a a more simplified platformer to get family together, you know, kids with their parents and stuff like that, let it be that. All right, don't try to claim that it's the next uh, Mario or it's the newest. Um, it's the newest kind of like spokesperson for Xbox, the newest cartoon character that's gonna come. Because we all know that's that's actually Ori, all right. But, Ori, Ori is the sure little there's cute guy. on the bathroom. Uh, I, I never, I'm, I'm I haven't saying. heard anyone saying that. You have, then you don't. Then you don't go on Twitter, my friend. Then you no, dude. Not. I I have, dude. I have to agree with uh, uh with Supersonic, dude. Like I'm I'm on Twitter every day, and I I, I understand that you're, you're you know there's been a lot of negativity towards it. I have not read not one tweet from anybody that liked the game. Is saying that this is the second coming or the best thing since sliced bread. I will say, <laughs> the same people comparing it to Mario and no, nah, I, I do it again. Like, if you got like those bread. tweets, send them on over because I, I, I don't think it is. You know, you, you, again, you cannot... like, well, if you like platformers like Banjo Kazooie and stuff like that, I, I, like I said, I don't know. I haven't played it, but from what I've seen, it is, it is a very simplified kind of platformer and and you can't really put that in the same ca category with Banjo Kazooie and and the other platformers that that we kind of grew up on. I, well, I, I, can't saying, I can because I, I, I think it's it's it, if you if you're trying to fairly compare the game, you're not going to say that this is like Star Wars Battlefront or Call of Duty. It is like a Spyro type game. It is like a Crash Bandicoot type game. It is definitely like a Banjo Kazooie. You collect coins. You collect cl clovers. There are uh, puzzle elements to the each of the worlds that you're in. I mean, that, I, I think that you would be doing it a disservice mm -hmm. if you tried to compare it to something that it, it, it is like a, a classic 90s platformer that, yes, might be somewhat simplified. And it's certainly you can consider it a budget title at 30 bucks. But I, I, I said that I'm going to say this in my review and I'll say it now. If you're discounting it simply because it's a 30 dollar title, then you then if then platformers are just not your thing. And that's perfectly fine. But to 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 beat on this game like Ryan McCaffrey did for uh, uh, for giving it a five point five point oh on IGN, what and, what, what, and what were his gripes on it? His what, gripes what were, were his gripes were that the camera that you couldn't fully spin the camera around. And here's the thing, I barely used spinning the camera around in the entire game, and I put over twenty four hours into the game. So I don't know what he was talking about. I didn't have any instances where. 
I was caught behind a tree or a rock that I was like, oh my God, I can't make this jump. I think my game is over. And then to, 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 to jump on the, uh, on the pile even more, he goes out of his way and he de wind up deleting his tweet. And if you saw my tweet a couple of days ago, I applauded Shannon Loftus, who I vocally have said, I don't think she should be in that spot because the uh, first and second party titles are seriously lacking on the, on the platform. I've said that publicly and privately, but I applauded her because he got, went out of his way. And mind you, he has a lot of followers. He is supposed to be, uh, uh, you know, an IGN professional journalist telling people, encouraging people not to buy this game. And he wound up deleting his tweet. But, but you only gave me the one, you only gave me the one camera thing. What else did he say that was wrong well, about he, this game? He, well, I mean, he, he said it was, he, again, I believe, I believe the camera was, it was the main part. Uh, he said oh. one of the, he was disappointed with the game because he expected more from it. Um, so was he trying to say that it's a simplified version of a platformer as well? You know, I don't. I listen. I don't. No, I, I read. He, the he review, was the one I, comparing it to Mario. He's like, just play Mario. This is no Mario, and it's not supposed to be a fucking Mario. It's not game. supposed to be a Mario. Right. But and see, again, he did, he did compare it to uh, to Mario, and here's here's the problem. Nothing that's a platformer will beat Mario except Mario. Okay, so to bring th this game into the mario you know comparisons it, it's it's like supersonic said earlier it's comparing our well, oranges well, first of all first of all you you got a price difference here you have a a full-fledged 60 dollar mario game compared right. to a 30 dollar half price you know platformer an introductory platformer to a, a new character a, a new world uh maybe a more simplified thing which will bring kind of like children and and parents together which, which I'm for. You know, last generation, Viva Pinata was one of my favorite games on the 360. And, and uh, there's people out there that can say that it, it's a kiddie game, but it really, it really wasn't. If you, if you go and look underneath the cartoon aspect of it, like getting every different variation of animal and stuff like that in Viva Pinata. It, it it can be a trying task. Oh no, you, know you put some saying? you put some work into that game. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. Yes, right. that's correct. Yes, but on the surface, because it it was dealing with cartoony pin pinatas and stuff like that, a lot of people were like, "Oh, that's just a kid game." All right. Now there's there is a place for the more simplified platformers, and and what I'm trying to say is there are people. I'm sorry, but there are pro Xbox people out there that yes, this year has been a little is has been light when it comes to exclusives. It has just yes. just this year though. This no, is, no, this, it, this is nothing to hang it, it, on it is Xbox. A very light year. That's ever correct. since 2013, we have been hit with nothing but new experiences, exclusives, and sequels that we've wanted. All right. Ever since the beginning of this generation, we have been hit with a bunch of games. So this year has been light. So this is no way for there's people out there that that try to damage control and be like, well, no, yo, Super Lucky's Tale, man, that's gonna be the next great cartoon video game. Kind of no like saying that know, though. <laughs> no, people have said that, dude. I I, I don't know what <laughs> the they're thing, the thing I, is I this, have, dude. I have over three thousand people that I, I I look through their their tweets and stuff that that show up on my my Twitter feed and stuff like that. And there are people that try to claim that this game is something that it is not. From well, what I you, you, but you but dude, you see, here's the thing. You you look what what makes this community along with the PlayStation community and any community regarding video games that you're part of. Is you're going to have people that are going to go out and tell it like it is, and then you're going to have the listen. Xbox is no have no shortage of extremists that will that will go out of their way to say if Microsoft takes a, a, a crap on the floor that it is the next next thing best thing. Mm -hmm. So you get that on Sony, you get that with the Xbox, you get it on PC. <laughs> you you know those people's opinions, even though they are their opinions will not have any val validation to them, and that's perfectly fine. And I'm certainly not saying that this is this is the next Mario. What I'm saying is that if you are a person who enjoys platformers, whether they are simplified or something that's going to take you 90 hours to beat, this might be up your alley. And I, it's, 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 I, I will say this. It is extremely unfortunate that this does not have a demo because I guarantee you if people actually take the time to put, you know, half an hour into it because there's such a, 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 a gambit of colors and the environments are so lush and, and, and packed with wonder 
that you could logistically feel like, wow, you know, I tried this game. I am going to buy it because, it, well, yeah. you know, the it, graphics, it, it, the graphics from what I've seen look great. I can't wait to see your review, by the way, because like you're telling me uh, like the last boss was crazy. What's up? Uh, CBL has got to go. Okay. Oh, bye CBL. Bye, CBL. I'll my, see my, my bye. Thing, it's just that my, my whole thing about this is like, if, if you're going to put it out there, right. If, if you're going to talk about this game, if this game is lighter than your Banjo Kazooie, than your Rayman, than your your Sonic Forces that just came out. If it's lighter than that, I would really hope and expect that anybody who reviews the game or talks about it lets people know that it is lighter than that. Not just if you like Banjo Kazooie and and Sega and and Rayman, then you're gonna love this. But no, no. Well, actually, actually, the gameplay is a little bit lighter than that. But it's 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 in that kind of like genre. But it might not be as intense as that. It, it, like I'm, I can't wait to see your review, man. It's just a fun game. But hey, Xbox, remember all the shit you talked on Destiny Two, and then you actually played it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. But see, but see, but I, I am also like I, you know, I admit when I'm wrong. I'm not, I'm not perfect by any means. I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm not perfect. Nobody, no, nobody's perfect. So yo, know, there's people that are gonna say things, and then when they try it out, it's gonna be something different. Like I said, I'm I'm taking this off of what I've seen from the game. I have never had the game with the controller in my hand. I have not played it. All right, this is from someone what I'm gift seeing. him. Someone can gift him that game. <laughs> I actually would like to see like a review from him from that game. So someone right. can gift him that. So uh, no, he's not getting it. Um. We have enough stuff to play right now. That's that. Uh, he's not getting game gifted. He just wants to get gifted. So he's like, I can't spend thirty dollars on that because I can't see myself spending that much. Yeah, I, can, I don't. I don't have any confidence in that game to spend thirty dollars on it. Oh, right now. Well, get a Black no Friday. One. It'll be half price. <laughs> oh, maybe. All right. So, anyways, we're gonna end the show because we have went um, almost three hours now. This is crazy. Um, and creating Beyond Limits had to go. Uh, <laughs> And I'm like, guys, just well, he's the only about. one in Ireland, so he has to go and like make sure he the has streets to take are care wet. of Ireland, <laughs> make sure Ireland is running. Um, but yeah, definitely check out Dean. He put his link in the chat. Follow his um his YouTube channel, subscribe, and follow him on Twitter. Um, we're all active on Twitter. Everybody's link below in the description. Uh, Xbox. Would you like to let everybody know where they can find you and all that good stuff and things? Yeah, I am going to be at the dentist tomorrow. You guys can show up and um, watch the whole process. No, I'm just playing. Uh, you guys yeah. can show up and just give me that game that Mel can't think of the title right now. Uh, super, super Lucky super, Tale. There, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, guys, I, I, I always say the best thing to do is to follow me on Twitter. It's at Xbox448. I do have a podcast on my channel that is every Saturday, but I am on a bunch. You know, I'm here Wednesday mornings. I am on BGST, with, whether it's Sunday or Monday. Uh, I am, of course, a part of the Crossfire family as well. There's just a, a lot of podcasts that uh, I, I kind of end up on, but I do um, – I do tweet out when we're going live and stuff like that on, on my Twitter page. So that would probably be the best thing to do is follow me on at Xbox four, four, eight. Um, uh, I'm going to be going through a process where I, I might not be able to talk for, for a little bit. So we're going to see what's going on with these shows and stuff like that. I'm going to do my best to uh, show up and, and, and do what I can. Um, but it's going to be, it's going to be a little crazy the next couple of <laughs> weeks or so, but uh, it'll get a lot better um, after that. So, so you mean uh, to say I don't have to tell you to shut up? You're just going to mm, automatically... I, I'm just going to grunt and moan at you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. She's going to hate That's that. All, that's all I hear anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, and uh, Xbot will be hopefully helping me out on my donation stream this Saturday. Nice. And hopefully he'll be shaving my head for me. Um, yes! Boomstick. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Boomstick, where can people find you? What are you up to? All that good stuff. Well, I uh, you can find me on Twitter at Mr. Boomstick XL. Uh, I, my direct message is open if anyone wants to talk about pretty much anything. Uh, I um, I launched my own YouTube channel uh, just about two weeks ago, and I just crossed the hundred subs uh, this morning. Which uh, big big thank you so much, Mel. Big shout out to the community. They've been super supportive, uh, especially the UK Daz. Uh, the guy has been nothing short of, uh, you know, a, a cheerleader for my channel. Daz and is incredible, man. Yeah, Absolutely Daz is good incredible. people. So thank you for that. 
And uh, my uh, my next video is dropping hopefully by the end of the week. Uh, it's obviously going to be Super Lucky's Tale review, which is a lot harder to write a review than it is to simply just speak on a podcast. So I hope to have that done. And uh, if you want to hit me up on Xbox Live, uh, it's uh, Mr. Boomstick XL. And he is ready to play Call of Duty with all of you guys. Yes. No, with me at least. With Mel especially. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm going to be I'm going to be banned from the channel. Watch yeah. out for falling loot crates in that game. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much fun. So um, then, uh, creating Beyond Limits isn't here anymore. Supersonic Station. Where can people find you? What are you up to? All that good stuff. Follow me on YouTube, Mixer, and Twitch. Supersonic Station, all one word. After this podcast, I'm going to be streaming some Gears of War 4 with the graphics god, J-Dubs. The graphic god. He always calls him graphics god. Can't um, help it. Oh, and, and then, um, uh, next Wednesday, we're, I'm starting a kind of co-stream uh, Project Spark news thing with Lady Likes at UK. So that'll be like 8 p.m. Central. Going to be making games on Project Spark and doing game jams and contests and stuff so it'll be before coffee casuals and consoles so if you need something to do before the podcast starts hop on over nice nice i was going to mention that um all right and then you guys can find me on twitter at girls can game two two and obviously right here on youtube um one Charity stream. Charity stream. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, charity stream. I'm going to tell them now since you want to remind me about it, about the super secret surprise. I'm just kidding. Um, you guys, uh, make sure you set the bell, hit the little bell so you get a reminder on Saturday. Hopefully everything will be okay with my computer because it's been a dick today. It's just straight up. It's been a dick. So um, hopefully it'll be good to go. And 3 o'clock p.m., we will start our 24-hour charity stream. I'm so excited to raise money. It's going to Connecticut Children's Medical Center. Did our did our friend Hayron Fleenberg send anything our way yet? Or? No, <laughs> just stop talking. Okay. All right? So, yeah. <laughs> You're such an asshole. <laughs> You do lots of your 24 hour stream online with people because, like, that's what was so cool about 20, the 24 hour charity stream is people coming in to help you and support you and playing games with you to yeah. keep you awake. I know. I'm so scared. How am I going to stay awake? Like, I can't go to sleep at night, but I know when I can't go to sleep, that's when I want to sleep the mostest. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really excited for this. I do have a few little raffle giveaway things coming up planned and all that good stuff. Um, she's got to sleep like all Friday. Oh yeah. Right. I mean, maybe if I take some drugs or something, knock me out. Um, you know, uh, and if I, you guys I are am, able to, I am all out by the way. <laughs> oh, okay. So if you guys are able, you know, to help me out, uh, just, you know, like UK Dazarus, if you're available, you know, you want to moderate, I would appreciate it. <laughs> Mel wakes up with no hair. I can't stand you guys. I'm done today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I will be uh, making a video, a promotional video coming up. I know it's going to be late, but things happened a little later than I wanted, and I don't care. Uh, you guys will find out what the super secret epic prize is um, if it does come in the mail. But <laughs> I was going to resort to camels. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done, guys. You have a great week. I hope to see you guys here next week. And I hope I will see you guys all <laughs> on Saturday. Later. Well, later. <laughs>